Jesus Naoko. Appreciating him. I could teach our Nawake. I could teach only and not to behold what men of love the Father has bestowed upon us. That we should be called the sons of God. Therefore, the world knows us not. Because it knew you not. We appreciate you, Lord, for this grace. You've made us your sons. You've made us your sons. Because of your unconditional love, you have loved us. Today we are gathered here to celebrate your word, to celebrate the revelation which you have given unto us. We appreciate you.
We thank God for another opportunity once again to congregate, to gather in his name and uh, commemorate the coming of our salvation and to honor he that sits on the throne, mm -hmm. to revere him, to praise him, to worship him, to attend to his teachings as they are life to us and to remember that he is the captain of this kingdom mm -hmm. and without him we have nothing and without him we are nothing. We cannot commit ourselves to everything else and forget the very man who became the ransom for our sins. He offered himself where there was no one among us to propitiate for our sins. Sometimes as the church, we get too comfortable and we start to focus on ourselves. We focus on our excitement. We focus on our testimonies and forget the one that made everything possible. But we shouldn't do that. We must remember to honor the Lord all the time, for he is holy, and his precepts, they give life, they give light to those that walk by them, and his teachings abide forever. The Lord Jesus Christ, the King of kings, the Savior of mankind, the mediator between us and God, the testator of the new covenant. He is holy, he is worthy, and he is seated on the throne. Angels bow before him, the beasts and the 24 elders, they all worship him. Amen. He is the subject of our worship. He is the object of our faith. When you see us, you must never think that we could have done anything to ourselves or anything for ourselves. Jesus has done everything for us. He is our perfecter. He is our father in the Lord. You might want to ask yourself, how much time have you committed to honor him in your everyday life? How much do you think about Jesus? How much do you consider the valiant work that he has done and finished for you? He paid for your sins in full. There are no outstanding areas that God wants you to pay on your own. He made a full payment and God accepted that payment. And on that basis, you can now boldly call God your father. Without Jesus' work at the cross, God does not consider us children. We are bastards. We are strangers to him without Jesus. It's important as believers not to get ourselves wound up in our own personal issues and forget what is outstanding. After everything is said and done, Jesus must be honored yes. by everyone who calls on the name of the Lord with a pure heart. Amen. Honor Jesus in your heart, honor him in your mind. Do not be proud, do not be arrogant, do not be self-exalting. Humble yourself before the Lord, speak as a child, speak as a beneficiary of his kindness. We are not entitled to everything or to anything that he has done for us. He gave it to us as a free gift, as a gesture of his mercy and his kindness. Mm. Let us learn to honor the Lord Amen. every day of our lives. Mm. Let us honor him with hymns, with songs. Let us honor him with praise. Let us honor him with our daily lives. Wherever you are going, whether you are driving, you are flying, 
you are in your kitchen preparing a meal, you are bathing, you are in your office, it will not be robbery for us to commit just a minute after every while and say, thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. I am here because of you. I cannot be too busy to honor you. Mm -hmm. You don't have to kneel down. You don't have to say it with your mouth. You can say it in your heart, and he can hear you. Mm -hmm. You don't have to shout until the whole office mm -hmm. gets confused. Mm -hmm. Is this a church? Are you turning this company into a church? Mm -hmm. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. Honor the Lord with your mouth. Honor the Lord with your mind. Honor the Lord with your heart. That's something that you can do that nobody can take away from you. People can fire you from your job. You may end up not going to school because your parents cannot afford to pay your fees anymore. Mm -hmm. You can lose your marriage. You can lose your business. Mm -hmm. you, can, you, can, you can, thieves can steal your passport and you wanted to travel, you can't travel anymore. But that's something that you can't stop because something has happened to you. You don't need money to honor the Lord. You don't need to be in a specific room to honor him. Honor him for what he has done for you. Speak to Jesus with your mouth. Don't talk about Jesus. Talk to him. We can talk about him, but that is not enough. There must be a moment where you talk to him, Lord Jesus, you are so good to me. I can't imagine where I could be today had it not be for your mercy. I was destroying myself, but with your gentle hands, you lifted me out of the miry waters, out of the, out of the dungeon of destruction. I was confused. I was wallowing in misery and bitterness. I cried day and night over things which, when I look at them now, mm -hmm. I don't see why I felt that I needed to be in pain, to be grieving and hurting over those things. I could have killed myself, but you sustained me. You brought me out of that wallowing, and here I am because of you. I am now in a better mind. I have a better mindset. I am now mentally stable, mm -hmm. more stable than I was before you, you redeemed me with your word. Your word is sweet. Mm -hmm. I want to honor you. Spare a moment and say, Lord, before you found me with your word, that money lying over there, I could have stolen it. Mm -hmm. And my employer could not know who stole it. And I would swear with all my ancestors that I never saw the money. Mm -hmm. But now, because of the gospel, I don't even feel tempted to touch it. Mm -hmm. I'm content with my hard end money. Mm -hmm. I thank you for giving me dignity. Mm -hmm. Others have no dignity until today. Mm -hmm. I was like them eight years ago, mm -hmm. five years ago, mm -hmm. three months ago. Mm -hmm. Thank God for the dividends of his grace. There is so much to honor him for each and every day of our lives. One sentence is enough to honor him. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord, for keeping me alive to this day. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord, for waking me up with my health. I'm fit today. You have given me another day. This is a gift which I don't deserve. Thank you, Lord, for protecting me from armed robbers and from thieves, I walk through a dangerous a, 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 an armed robber infested area, mm -hmm. but I have not been robbed until now. It's a miracle. I want to thank you. Others have been mugged so many times over and over again. Thank him. Honor him. Mm -hmm. Honor him in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, at night, you are going to develop a closer relationship with Jesus and you are going to start to feel his presence mm -hmm. and people are going to wonder, are you out of your mind? Mm -hmm. You say, no, I am fine. And they are saying, but 
based on your circumstances, you mustn't be fine. Mm -hmm. You say, no, I am fine. Mm -hmm. I have a more dependable friend than all the people that may desert me. Mm -hmm. I trust in Jesus. Mm -hmm. He will always be there for me. Friends may walk away. A husband may walk away. A wife may pick her bags and go. But Jesus will stick with me. And that is a gift that is so uh, invaluable. Amen. We mustn't ignore what the Lord is doing in our lives every day. So speaking to him will also remind you that he is alive. In religion, people talk about our Lord as though he died and never rose from the dead. Imagine Pastor Rengu is here. I start to say to Pastor Shuma, Pastor Shungwa, uh, Pastor Shuma, ah, Pastor Rengu, she's a good woman. But I, I hope she continues to focus on what she's doing. She's doing a very good project at home. She's running a chicken business. And she's sitting there, Pastor Rengui, we don't consult her, we don't speak to her, we don't say, Pastor Rengui, we thank God for you and we are encouraged by the chicken business you are doing. We talk about you as though you are not there. <laughs> Would you feel happy about that? No. That's what Christians do. Mm. They talk about Jesus mm. as though he is not there. Mm. But we know that wherever we are, Jesus is with Amen. us. Yes. Amen. Yes. So it is good to talk about him, yes. mm -hmm. but it is equally good to mm -hmm. talk to him yes. individually. Mm -hmm. Even when we are not praying, mm -hmm. you can speak to him without closing your eyes. Yes. Thank you, Lord. This is marvelous. Even when you are reading scriptures and you come across something exciting, yes. you can say, thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. yes. I couldn't have figured this out. Mm -hmm. Had you not given me Holy Spirit mm -hmm. to help me understand scriptures. Mm -hmm. When you are listening to a sermon yes. and it blesses your heart, mm -hmm. thank you, Lord, mm -hmm. for this delicious mm -hmm. sermon. Amen. I couldn't have understood it had you not opened my heart mm -hmm. to believe. Mm -hmm. That's the character of a believer. Mm -hmm. Let's be fervent believers mm -hmm. in relating with he mm -hmm. that made everything possible mm -hmm. that we may be here today. We can't ignore Jesus and talk about Apostle Chwenga. No. We can't ignore Jesus and talk about Pastor Chuma. No. Mm -hmm. There is no Pastor Chuma. There is no Apostle Chwenga mm -hmm. without Jesus. No. Let's emphasize Jesus, yes. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus mm -hmm. more in everything that we do. Amen. Less about ourselves mm -hmm. and more about himself. Mm -hmm. And you are going to realize that even gossiping will become difficult. Yes. <laughs> because gossiping is you discussing other yes. people. Mm. Yes. Imagine if you could replace this gossiping yes. with discussing about Jesus. Jesus. Yes. 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 Doing an audit of what he has done in your life so mm. far. Mm. This is what Jesus has done. Mm. This is what Jesus has done. I am so grateful the world would be a better place. Yes. Yes. And we must start to learn to do that. Mm -hmm. Well, we thank God. I want us to, stand, to take this opportunity, all of us, and just honor him, speak to him. Yes. Uh, I know you may be a very prayerful person, but doing it together will also inculcate that culture in you, and it will help you to continue to forge ahead without ignoring this part where you must a fellowship with Jesus through a confession of gratitude, an expression of joy in, in what you are going through and, and, and encountering in your journey of faith. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We honor you, Master, for everything there is not enough time to explore your your goodwill towards us it's amazing that we are here today and sometimes we fail to uphold the culture of the kingdom because we start to consider 
ourselves and to focus on ourselves and ignore that you are the one that has made everything possible by saving us you made a very great a sacrifice and you came unto us reached out to fulfill what you had spoken about in the book of Luke in chapter 15 when you spoke and said a good shepherd we will hunt and search for the lost sheep until he finds it and when he finds it he carries it on his shoulder to bring it home we thank you lord for searching for us until you found us and for committing to bring us home to the house of god the church of the living born the first born we thank you jesus we thank you master for your generosity in everything you've blessed us so much with the spiritual blessings and we cannot co- co- contain everything that we have received some of the things that you have done for us we are still discovering it and yet we have less time to honor you for that we are committed to behave and to function to conduct ourselves as dear children of the kingdom who are disciplined by the word that they are receiving we continue to honor you lord because you are dear to us we love you jesus we love you lord for your kindness We love you master because you've given us hope when we had no hope. We are sure in certain that we are not only safe in your hands while we are in in this body still in this earth. We are rather more confident that when you call us to come out of this world there is a place reserved for us by you. You are not going to see us as strangers but as a father you shall receive us into the eternal home with the gladness we are here lord with that hope we are here lord with that expectation we thank you for giving us a hope that is beyond this life that we are living a hope that is beyond the grave a hope that is beyond the mortuary we are not going to disappear is a place reserved for us but you made it possible and you gave us an assurance and you said worry not what shall happen what shall you eat what shall you clothe and you spoke at length and comforted us even concerning things that have not yet happened to us we thank you Jesus for giving us strength to forge ahead in this journey of faith even when we are faced with a myriad of temptations a myriad of challenges a myriad of of hurdles that we face in each in each and every day we thank you lord for healing our bodies when we are sick we thank you lord for calming our minds when we are anxious we thank you lord for healing our minds when we are unstable that we may not lose focus for that which is set before us the rest of faith so that we may run it successfully and finish it without losing our faith we honor you because you are worthy we honor you with our hearts with our mouths with our minds there is nothing better for us to do than to honor you for what you have done for us on the cross there is nothing better for you to do than what you have already done you have given us a gift that can never be surpassed in value by anything else sonship to god reconciliation with our god forgiveness of our sins the promises of eternal inheritance these are the things that we cherish every day of our lives and we have you to thank for these things and we wish that we may continue to honor you in everything that we do and that we may not forget that we are children of God because of you we are in the church because of you we have holy spirit because of you we are understanding the word because of you we are children of God because of you we are ministers of the gospel because of you amen there's nothing we have now we could have obtained without you 
You are our everything. And may we not get ourselves distracted from honoring you because of the vain things of this mortal life. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. So we want to continue to do this, and I would encourage you to continue to do this. Amen. You don't need money to honor Jesus. No. You don't need to board a plane to honor him. Mm -hmm. Wherever you are, mm -hmm. you can honor him. Why would you stop honoring Jesus? Mm -hmm. Do you know that if you live a life of honoring Jesus, demons will be very far away from you. You are more victorious spiritually when you honor the Lord yes. than when you say, out to demons. <laughs> <laughs> because when you honor Jesus, you bring his presence live in your life. Yes. And with the presence of Jesus, mm -hmm. you don't need to kick out demons from your life. Mm -hmm. They walk, walk away. The temperatures will get high for them. Mm -hmm. And the demons will say, he always raises the, that name which we don't want to hear. Mm -hmm. He always honors that name that we don't want to hear. Mm -hmm. this, this place is boring. Mm -hmm. This place is terrifying. Let's go. Sakavano kudzai shengu vadzese, avadzingwe madimoni. Vani nge vachito tiz wana au mazvaese. Kono shida kudzingwa dimoni. Life yako yekuita honor Jesus. Ishoma. Mm -hmm. But as we move on with our service, I also want you to know that one of the things you may do to honor him is beyond saying, Lord, I honor you mm -hmm. with your mouth. Mm -hmm. You can also honor him with your service. Amen. Committing time to serve in the house of God. Yes. It's also another dimension of honoring him. Yes. You can also honor him with your offerings. Yes. I'm giving this offering to Jesus. Mm -hmm. And as you give your offerings, do it with an outpouring of honor. Yes. Mm -hmm. Speak in your heart and say, Lord, I'm giving this money because I love you, honoring you. Mm -hmm. Don't give it with the pride and say, I'm giving money to church. That's not to honor now. Mm -hmm. That's actually dishonor. When you give to the king, you give it with humility. Mm -hmm. You kneel down and say, if it pleases the king, mm -hmm. I have presented my gift. Mm -hmm. And the king must say, I accept it. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, the king may reject it. Mm -hmm. And you go back home with an egg on your face. Mm -hmm. That is also something we must consider when we honor him. Amen. And I want to say, one of the things that makes it difficult to honor Jesus. They have nothing to do with the practicality aspect of it. Is it possible? Is it easy to honor Jesus? Mm. Christianity has taught us a difficult approach to honoring the Lord. But we can honor the Lord easily. Mm. Like I said, it's not expensive. Mm -hmm. It's something that you deliberately con consider doing. Mm. And you weigh your options. What do I wanna, why, why do I want to honor him with? Do I want to honor him with words of honor, words of praise, mm. words of worship? Mm. Or I want to honor him with my labor? Mm. Or I want to honor him with my gifts, with my offerings? Mm. You also decide how much you are going to offer in your honor. Mm. So it's in what way then is it difficult? It's not difficult. But what I have considered is that we barely have received enough teachings about being children of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Because when we are not children of the kingdom, mm -hmm. we behave like commoners. Mm -hmm. And so commoners, they make noise. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. This is something that is very symptomatic mm -hmm. of commoners. Mm -hmm. Commoners make a lot of noise. Mm -hmm. yeah. And when you make a lot of noise, you hear also what you are saying. You get excited and you think that the Lord wants to hear you making a lot of noise. <laughs> Go into any palace. It's one of the most quietest of places. Yes. A palace where the king lives, yes. it must be a quiet yes. place. Yes. The king does not want noise. Mm -hmm. It's basically one of the... Uh, characteristics of royalty. Mm -hmm. They manage a quiet life. Mm -hmm. 
And when we talk about the quietness, we are not simply addressing our volume, maybe when we pray, when we speak to each other. No. Quietness, it is an aspect of being decent, mm -hmm. where you are not everywhere, mm -hmm. all over the place. Whenever conversations are taking place, wherever those conversations are taking place, commoners want to be there. Mm -hmm. But when you are royalty, you are you are preserved, you are reserved. Yes. Yes. You, 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 don't, you don't see decency mm -hmm. in being all over the place. Mm -hmm. In certain activities, you don't attend, mm -hmm. simply because it brings reproach to the palace. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you are not seen in every party, on every social media handle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when people post something, a palace resident must not be the first one to react mm -hmm. because as yes. a palace member yes. you are so decent that indecent people mm -hmm. they soil your dignity mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so that's yes. why not everyone has got uh, prince william's phone number <laughs> and it doesn't mean that prince william is a, 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 a is not a sociable person no no it is an aspect of his uh, character as a member of the palace. Yes, yes. So, as commoners, we, we were commoners, all of us, including myself, mm -hmm. we are actually admitted into the royal life of Christ. Mm -hmm. The Bible says we are a royal priesthood, yes. which means we are a palace priesthood. Yes. Mm -hmm. We are a priesthood of the royal house. Mm -hmm. yes. The royal house it means the house of the king. Mm -hmm. So the words royal priesthood, it means a palace priesthood. Upresita wataka iskwa mauri, dewe pamba pa mambo. Kuroti aro nijeji, anufanonga achigara pa state house. Achitra mabasa hake, panogara mambo. So as a royal priesthood, we are members of the palace. Yes. Mm -hmm. We are members of the royal kingdom mm -hmm. of Christ. The Bible has declared many times that Christ is a king. Mm -hmm. Now, how can he be a king of commoners? Mm -hmm. <laughs> can he be a king of no, commoners? No. He can't. No. So one of the impediments to us in terms of what causes us not to honor him. We are commoners. When you are a commoner, you say, I. I, they, they say, I'm not vote bo bo. I'm going to vote bulato bulato. I'm going to vote kenge kenge. I'm going to vote banya. Sharp, sharp. You are a commoner. But can you say this as you greet a king? No. You can't. No, you can't. So one of the characteristics of a commoner is that the royal etiquette is something you have no knowledge about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so the words that people use when they speak to the king, mm -hmm. you have to learn those words. Mm -hmm. You can't speak to Jesus anyhow. Mm -hmm. Jesus is a king. Mm -hmm. Do people address kings anyhow? Mm -hmm. No. Go and read the letters of Paul and see how he addressed our Lord. You can tell he was addressing a king. Mm -hmm. But do we address him as a king? We don't. No. To us, Jesus is just a savior. He is not a king. But where am I going? I'm going to the aspect of honor. Mm -hmm. Amen. Honor is one thing that only royals know about. Mm -hmm. You know that you can't spend the whole day without going into the throne room to bow down before a king mm -hmm. and say, I came to present myself before the king mm -hmm. to honor him today. Mm -hmm. So it's no longer a prayer that you are doing because you've got issues you want to pray about, which is what commoners do. Mm -hmm. When you see them in prayer, they want something from the king. Mm -hmm. But royals do not go into the throne room to make requests. Mm -hmm. They enter into the throne room to honor the king. Mm -hmm. And the royals do not spend the whole day without looking for an opportunity mm -hmm. to honor the king. Mm -hmm. 
kuti zuva ribude rigodoka ugorara usina kukudza mambo kana uri a royal au azviite zvinotongo kurambira because one one thing that happened during the time of the kings of the bible is that you may end up realizing that there is a decree from the king that he doesn't want to see you anymore mm. and when the king doesn't want to see you anymore he doesn't tell you himself mm -hmm. he simply causes the gods to stop you from coming in yes, yes, yes. you then say oh let me check on the king as you try to go through the door the gods will say you can't come in mm -hmm. Why I used to go in I was in two days ago I used to speak to the king the king knows me the gods will say we are not here to discuss how close you are to the king mm -hmm. you are not coming in the king does not want to be disturbed mm -hmm. while well, it's the gods are telling you that the king does not want to be disturbed someone comes through the gods will allow him to pass through and you wonder <laughs> but this one is coming in the gods will say you don't control protocol procedures no. here mm -hmm. in the palace mm -hmm. so they would come in every day mm -hmm. to honor the king mm -hmm. to just make sure that the king still wants to see me mm -hmm. yes. and they would go out with hope with joy with pride Amen. i can confirm that the king still wants me mm -hmm. in the palace Amen. because when i honored him he accepted my honor yes yes you understand yes. So Isu sutakadzidziswa kuti gara uchinyengetera zvinhu zvako zvinobudirira ramba uchinyengetera zvinhu zvako zvinofamba pray until something happens That's not a royal life now That's not a royal life That's a beggar's life Yes yes But these are the beggarly elements that we are not allowed to associate with let us learn to honor the king amen pastor chuma as you welcome our people to the service did you learn something from this mini admonition thank you amai yes 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 amai i did learn something and uh, it's so amazing uh, my brethren to to learn that as commoners we were born as commoners and being born as commoners now we belong to a kingdom we belong to a kingdom because he has adopted us first of all kings are not uh, are not voted in kings are born so when the when our lord was born the wise men came and said where is he who was born king of the jews so he was he was already born a king and then he suffered and died on the cross for us and then revelation 1 verse 6 then says he has made us kings and priests unto god so this is how we have become royalty we have become royalty because he has made us royalty because of suffering and dying on the cross for us now why then do we continue to behave as commoners and beggars and paupers when we now belong to the kingdom of god now that we belong to the kingdom of god we know that we have come here by the invitation of the king we do not deserve anything but he has invited us into his kingdom and our duty now is to worship him to praise him to adore him and always seek to gaze into his presence so i'm so thankful am i for this admonition it made me realize who i am now because of him i am no longer who i i, I used to be and i may not be exactly where I, I i need to be but at the same time i'm no longer where i used to be i'm now in the kingdom of god and i worship and honor the king i welcome welcome to amit week service my brethren and uh, I, I i just i just want us to realize that uh, there's a lot of food that we eat here in the kingdom let's not take it for granted let's always be hungering and thirsting uh, for the for the word of god like the the, the psalmist says in isaiah chapter 42 in, in psalms chapter 42 verse 1 
like a heart pants for water, so my soul, my soul thirsts after thee. God is always here to provide for us. The Lord provides for us the living water. He provides us the, the living bread. But we must be hungering and thirsting for it all the time, no matter how much food we eat. Let's honor the king. I welcome you to our midweek service. Wherever you are, my brethren, may God be with us all. Thank you, Amai. Thank you. First uh, Timothy 6.16 says, Who only hath immortality dwelling in the light which no man can approach unto whom no man hath seen nor can see, to whom be honor and power everlasting. Amen. 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 To whom be honor. honor. So the scripture is not saying to, to whom is honor. To whom be he honor. says, to whom be honor, be honor, which means it is a requirement. Mm -hmm. May we honor him. Mm -hmm. May we honor him forever and ever. Mm -hmm. Pastor Rengui, do you consider yourself honoring him enough? Uh, the Lord Jesus Christ, we talked about honoring him every day of our lives. Yes. It doesn't cost money. It doesn't cost you some calories of your energy. No. <laughs> You won't lose your salary, you won't lose your money, mm. you won't lose your time, even while you are doing your work on your computer or wherever you work. Yes. You can honor him. Yes. yes. Why is it difficult mm. to honor him? Thank you, Amai. Uh, it is indeed a great midweek that we have been afforded once more. Believers, I want to thank God. And what a, a way to start the, 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 the service. Uh, am I, I must say, I realized a lot of things uh, when you were teaching us there to say, if people are said you must pray or thank God, people would want to thank God with those things that they may say, look at a car there, look at my house or my wife, my husband, things like that. But I have seen that in your teaching, there are a lot of things that we need to thank God for. There is quite a lot. Just to thank him for taking you from where you were, considering yes, yes. where you were taken from. It's quite a, a, a something am I that I saw with Jesus and Takanga takanya anya kusara ni mche kutanga tanga tiri wa edeni. Chichipi tasanga ziwe kumambu kutu unora na mwasei. Kwa kubata toru wa kubai koko. Ndose lukunzi, isn't there anything that you can thank God for? There is a lot, brethren, that we can thank God for every day of our lives. And uh, to realize that it doesn't need you to kneel down because... That was the tradition from Christianity, that when you want to pray, number one, you need to close your eyes, you need to be maybe in a different closet, or you need to do something. But we are being taught that wherever you are, you can honor the Lord even within your heart. And I was thinking of Psalm 106. It says from verse 1, Praise ye the Lord, or give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mess endures forever. Verse 2 is the one that I wanted you to check on, dear brethren. Who can utter the mighty acts of the Lord? Who can show forth his praise? Is it not us who were taken from that great uh, uh, darkness yes. and been translated into this kingdom of his dear son? Mm. Who else should utter those great acts? if it is not us. And he went on to say in Psalm 107, verse 2, he says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. What, what should they say? We are going back to verse 1. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. If you go on to read the scripture, there's a lot what we need to thank God for. So it is indeed a great um, day once again where we are learning again 
the Lord, the royalty, the etiquette. Uh, Pastor Chuma, I liked it when he was explaining the peace which prevails at a palace. Yes. To say there is tranquil, there is, there is uh, that quietness yes. which should do, uh, be seen among the royalty. Yes. And when we were being taught that uh, there is dignity, mm -hmm. you are not found everywhere. Mm -hmm. You don't just utter any word mm -hmm. anyhow mm -hmm. where he was even telling us the way even we greet each other yes. to to say eh, they be they be things like that mm -hmm. we now belong to a kingdom where there is royal etiquette i really enjoyed it am i and i thank god for that yes um there's a lot we shall learn on concerning this matter mm -hmm. but our message is titled Blood is sacred. Mm. Blood is sacred. Yeah. Um, believers, remember, we ought to have had this message on Sunday, mm -hmm. but there was not enough space to do so. Yes. Um, I, I would like us to probably consider that the journey we shall take tonight in the message, it is six to... Uh, enlighten us of certain prevailing situations in our communities that may in essence be an explanation to certain things that we are going through now and we might not know how to address certain problems. We have tried to address them with a myriad of approaches unsuccessfully. Mm. And perhaps one might start to think that he was bewitched. Somebody has done some black magic on them, has cut, cast a spell on them, or maybe that the devil is out on just harming and hating you, and that God is not willing to come to your help. But if you consider the message I shared on Sunday, I talked about the case, yes. and I talked about the abomination, mm -hmm. and I talked about violations of principles of yes. God. Yes. So it's also going to, as it, as it shall appear in the message, be related to that uh, message which we did on, on, on Sunday. Blood is sacred. All right. So there is a transition that is very subtle in the scriptures. Uh, I think I might want to start with that transition. What I'm worried about is how much do you really want to learn about spiritual things? Mm -hmm. What exactly motivates you to come to hear my sermons? Maybe it's just a habit you have become fond of. Or maybe it's a habit that is, has become addictive. Maybe you, you can't figure out if there's anything else to do other than coming to listen to me. But we are exploring a vast field of spiritual phenomena that is not yet discovered. At God's will and by his grace, we are covering ground square inch by square inch, square foot by square foot. And we are discovering things that are not only a very impactful in our everyday life, but things that open avenues to become uh, sharper in addressing the world problems to an extent that if God grants us the grace, certain people are going to come from certain places saying, based on what you are teaching, we believe that you are the right person to solve our problem. 
And this is one of the things that, that made God to plant the church in the world. Amen. Let's look at the government. The government is basically elected members of the population that are given the task to run the affairs of the whole society on their behalf. They constitute a government based on the law. They start to run their affairs, the politics, the economics, the, the social issues. But within the nation, there are people there. And God designed those people, and those people belong to God. They, yes. they will remain God's people, yes. including those who don't believe. They mm -hmm. are God's people. Mm -hmm. yes. And so God designed and planted the church so that when the nations, when the nations, the provinces, the districts, the communities, in their everyday activities face certain complications mm -hmm. that the government cannot address, mm -hmm. the government will come to the church and say, you are closer to God than us. Mm -hmm. He is the one who designed everyone in this country. This is a problem. We have looked into the law. Our law cannot address this. Mm -hmm. We have looked into the economics books. The economics books cannot address this. Mm -hmm. We have read historians, works of literature. There's, they have not addressed this. But we see in the Bible, mm -hmm. these matters are handled. Mm -hmm. I think we think you are the right people. Mm -hmm to address these issues. There are such issues mm -hmm. that only the church can address. Mm -hmm. That is if it is the true church, mm -hmm. which is focusing on its core business. Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. But let me talk to you about a sensational matter to me, the transition that has happened in the scriptures, which I find of very a great value to the message. Mm. When you look at Genesis chapter 2, verse 7, mm -hmm. where God made man. Yes. And yes. the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground yes. and breathed into his nostrils. The, the Lord God breathed into his nostrils what? The breath of life. It was the breath of life and man became, that, that God breathed into his nostrils. Yes. yes. And man became a living soul. Mm. All right, read it again. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground yes. and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Yes. And the Lord God planted the garden eastward in Eden, and there he put the man whom he had formed. Mm -hmm. And out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. All the right, all right. All right. Man became a living soul. Yes. yes. Man became a living soul. So this is where man becomes existing. Yes. Man exists in Genesis chapter 2, verse 7, seven. in terms of functionality. Yes. But in terms of creation, he existed in Genesis chapter 1. Mm -hmm. Yes. But one, what we look at is what makes man, what is man made of? Man is made of the human spirit mm -hmm. yes. and the human body. Yes. In the Hebrew and Greek languages, mm -hmm. the human spirit mm -hmm. is called the pneuma. Yes. The human body is called the sex. God created the pneuma. Yes. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, yes. Adam was a spirit. Mm -hmm. And then in verse 7 of chapter 2, God formed mm -hmm. the man out of the dust of the ground. Yes. But in Genesis chapter 1, God said, Let us create yes. man mm -hmm. in our own image. Mm -hmm. 
So God created man, yes. the human spirit, yes. but God formed oh. the human body. Yes. So what we have in us, we have that which was created plus that which was formed. Yes. So when we say, I was created by God, mm -hmm. immediately you think about your eyes and your cheeks <laughs> and your dimples <laughs> to the women, your beautiful figure and stuff like that. But the word creature, it means a product of creation. Your body is not a creature. Mm -hmm. no. Your body is an invention. Mm -hmm. God invented the human body, mm -hmm. but God created mm -hmm. the human spirit. Amen. Mm -hmm. What is a creature mm -hmm. on you mm -hmm. is that which we do not see. Okay. What we see is not a creature. <laughs> what we see is a byproduct of formation. Yes. Yes. And this is why we, we differ when people say God created man in his own image. Mm -hmm. And then people start to say, so I look like God. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, ah, yeah, how can yeah. we help you? Ah. <laughs> the image of God was placed in the human spirit yes. Yes. because the image of God was used in creation. Yes. God created man in his own image. Mm -hmm. Amen. God did not form men mm -hmm. in his, his image. Yes. No. Yes. There is the scripture. Yes. I am not I am not <laughs> I am not muttering. Uh, yes. And the Lord God formed, formed the man in his image. No. no. Of no. the dust of the ground. ground. Yes. So this human body mm -hmm. was not formed in the image of God. No. It does not have the image of God. Mm -hmm. Don't deceive yourself. Yes. And this is why people say, so how, how, how many faces does God have? There are almost 7.8 billion faces on earth, and yet everyone was created in the image of God. That is an unlined question. Yes. Am I right? Yes. Can you prove that it's an unlined question, Pastor? Why am I saying, people ask and say, but we are 7.8 million a billion people in the whole world. Right? Mm -hmm. How many faces does God have? Yeah. Because the Bible says we were created in, his in the image of God. Mm -hmm. In light of what I've already said, yes. why is this question an unlearned one? It is indeed an unlearned one, am I? Because uh, of the answer that we have already given to say God cannot have 7.8 billion faces. Yes. Yes. And, uh, and if we look at those 7.8 billion faces, how different they are. To say that one is God's face, uh, Mahomet, <laughs> his face, he was created in the image of God. Our own president was created in the image of God. And taking all those faces. You, you, you have lost the direction of the message, Pastor. Yes. <laughs> You have actually succumbed to the temptation <laughs> of, of the that question. <laughs> <laughs> Can I try to answer it? Am I? <laughs> <laughs> but Master Chuba, yes, am I? you must make a judgment. Mm -hmm. Was I sad to, to pastor in my question? Mm -hmm. no, no, it was a plain question. It right? was very plain, yes. All right. Yes. And uh, the, the, the answer is, is very simple. Uh, the answer is that... Uh, those 7.8 billion faces were not created. They were formed. They were formed. You get it, Pastor? Yes, yes. The 7.8 billion faces are not faces of creatures. No. They are faces of formed products. Mm. Yes, God formed man, yes. the human body, yes. from the dust of the ground. Mm. And when God formed our bodies, he never used his image. Mm. That's what I had said first. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I got lost, am I? Yes. But, but I, you understand now, right? Yes. That the 7.8 billion are bodies that were formed without the image of God. Mm -hmm. So there's no doctrinal requirement mm. for you to look like God with your physical no. body. No, not at all. Right? Yes. 
right. I'm realizing from the sermon that you preached last time, Adam and creation. All right. Where we learned that uh, it was only Adam who was created. In the image of in God. In the image of God. We were not all created. We were not all created. We were born. We were born. All right. Yes. Uh, that one would not will not come back if we pursue that one. <laughs> because we have to also talk about that it's only the man who was created in the image of God. Oh, yes. The woman was not created in the image of God. <laughs> but do we have people who understand that? Let's leave that one now. <laughs> we have already addressed it. <laughs> Pastor Shuma, how do you feel with the stuff you are getting here? If, if GRM was a, a college... What would you say about the lectures you are getting in the college? Uh, the, the, these lecture, lectures uh, are, my, are, just, are just so amazing. In the college, um, we, we, we would be paying way, way, way too much money. Maybe we would not even afford to pay money uh, to this college. But all this, we are learning this for free. And to think that a lot of ministers out there who go to the seminaries and the Bible schools and, and, and have stuff no like idea. That. They have no idea, and they pay a lot of money. We are getting all this for free. No payment. No payment. Not even a cent. Amazing. Right, it is amazing. So, <laughs> I, 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 this is not part of the message. I just want you to see the transition that I found with. Uh, exploring and, and, and probably musing about. Mm. So in Genesis chapter 2, verse 7, mm -hmm. the Bible talks about body and spirit. Mm -hmm. God formed the body from the dust of the ground, and God breathed into the body's nostrils the human spirit, the pneuma. Yes. And when these two were together, man became a living, a living soul. soul. Mm -hmm. And so we talked about it many times, but charlatans will never learn. A human being does not have a body, a spirit, and a soul. No. Because the scripture does not call, does not give us a, a place from where we can say this is Pastor Erengui's body, and then that is Pastor Erengui's spirit, mm -hmm. but that one there is Pastor Erengui's soul. soul. According yeah. to the dictates of Scripture, the word the soul, which in the Greek language, in the Hebrew language, is the nephesh. Mm -hmm. The nephesh is not a, a, a component of the human life. The nephesh is the byproduct of a physical mixing process mm -hmm. that God did. Yes. God mixed the human spirit with the human body. Mm -hmm. And when they came together, they became a living soul. Amen. So the way they become to those who did physics and chemistry, it's a product of a chemical process. Yes. Mm -hmm. After produce, after mixing, after combining, after bringing together, mm. all right? Mm. Sodium and chlo chlorine, mm. we have sodium chloride. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is not a new chemical or a new mineral. Mm -hmm. No. This is a product of two chemicals yes. that are combined together. Yes. You understand? Yes. So... Uh, we have water, which is two atoms of hydrogen plus one atom of oxygen. oxygen. That's what we say, and these two became water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We can't then say in water there is hydrogen, there is oxygen, and water. No. no. What are you saying no. now? I'm confused. Water is made up of hydrogen and oxygen. Yes. The combination of these two mm -hmm. make up a new product mm -hmm. that becomes water. water. Mm -hmm. So the human spirit breathed into the human body, yes. mm -hmm. became a living soul. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And this is why 
God addressed this human being mm -hmm. as a soul. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. And I can, I can show it within a very short context. I can prove it. Let's look quickly into Ezekiel chapter 18. I, I, I want us to be very clear on this one. The souls. Yes. We are souls. We, as we walk, we are souls. Pastor Rengu is a soul. Yes. Pastor Chuma is a soul. Yes. There is no soul in Pastor Chuma. The wholesome existence, the wholesome being, yes. is the soul. Oh, yes. So we can say a will, a will, a car's will, is made up of a tire, a tubeless tire, and a rim. Right. When we combine a tire and a rim, we have a wheel. A wheel. You can't then say, in a wheel, there's a tire and a rim and a wheel. <laughs> huh? That's confusion. <laughs> it's confusion, right? <laughs> All right. Let us look at Ezekiel. Chapter number 18, verse um, 20. The soul that sins, it shall die. The soul that sins, it shall die. The son shall not bear the iniquity of the father. Mm. Yes. The soul that sins, shall do what? Shall die. So you will remember that he was talking about the issue of, of course, uh, that the people are supposed to uh, not continue using that proverb which says our fathers ate sour grapes and our teeth are sour, something like that. So God would use, God would use different words. How many people are they? There are 300 people. Yes. There are 300 males. There are 300 souls. Mm -hmm. It means the same thing. Yes. The soul that, that sins shall die. Yes. So I, I want to show you the transition. So it was actually a, amazing to me when I then wanted to understand the sacred nature of blood to say... In the beginning of, uh, of humanity, when God introduced Adam to the world, God made Adam a soul. But inside this soul, we can separate the flesh from the spirit. Mm. And then once that is done, there is no soul to talk about. No. If you meet the spirit on its own, it's not a soul. No. If you meet the body on its own, it's not a soul. Mm. And this is why when the spirit departs, we are left with the body. Yes. yes. And when the body is buried, we are left with the spirit. Mm. And this is why Rev, uh, uh, Hebrews chapter 12, when it addresses those that enter heaven, yes. it doesn't address them as souls. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because those that enter heaven, we will not need the human body that no. we have. No. no. We are, of course, going to see another body. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hebrews 12, 22. Okay. But you are come unto Mount Zion and, yes. and unto the city of the living God, yes. the heavenly Jerusalem, yes. and to an innumerable company of angels, yes. to the general assembly and church of the firstborn, church of the firstborn, which are written in heaven, yes. and to God the judge of all, yes. and to the spirits of just men made perfect. Aha! To the souls of just men. To the spirits. spirits. Huh? Spirits, <laughs> those who bury bodies, mm -hmm. they deceive one another mm -hmm. that God, when Jesus comes, that body will rise again, mm -hmm. and this body will go to heaven. Mm -hmm. There's no such scripture in the Bible, mm -hmm. it's a doctrine of devils. Yes, yeah. 
All right? Yes. So I would then want to warn you that the Bible, according to the doctrine of concealment, mm. is written in such a way that God doesn't want us to understand it with an academic approach. Okay. And so God did it with an order of apothecary, shaka mm -hmm. So you find out in a certain different portion of scripture, the word is so will be used there to mean the word spirit. Mm -hmm. And then you are going to say, but there is a word here which means, which is so. Mm -hmm. How can we explain it? Does it mean that God was talking about a body here? Of course, that's not it. Mm -hmm. The word is so and the word is spirit, they are used interchangeably. It is a sound understanding of doctrine and context yes. that then allows you to see that now we are talking about uh, the human spirit, mm -hmm. but God hides the word spirit inside the word soul mm -hmm. so that infidels may not have a clue on what he is saying. Yes. But when you look at verse 23 on the screen, it says you are come to the general assembly, mm. the church of the firstborn, yes. which are written in heaven. Mm. Yeah. What makes this church is the spirits yes. of just men made perfect. And this is interesting because all our sins are committed in the body. Mm. Mm -hmm. But what then needs to be made perfect is not the body. <laughs> <laughs> it's the spirit. Yes. <laughs> now, these are the things that cause me to worry whether everyone will be uh, actually following me yeah. like this. Yeah. So the transition is God knows very well mm -hmm. what is called the soul is not a component of the human life. Mm -hmm. The soul is the institution that runs the human life. Amen. Once the human spirit comes out of the body, mm -hmm. the body becomes dysfunctional. Mm -hmm. We call it a corpse. Mm -hmm. We have to bury it as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it will begin to decompose. Mm -hmm. So life is not in the body. Mm -hmm. Life is in the spirit. Mm -hmm. Yes. But the spirit is not designed to function in this world. It is designed to function in heaven. Amen. So when the spirit comes into this world, it needs a functionality. Mm -hmm. So God designs a body mm -hmm. right. to make the spirit functional. Function. Nobody will ever see the spirit unless if you are a spirit man mm -hmm. and by special grace, God opens your eyes. When you see someone, you can look inside him and see the spirit. Mm. And you can see that this man's spirit is empty. Okay. Yes, I've, I've done that. I, it has happened to me mm. many times. Mm. I have seen people's spirits mm -hmm. inside their bodies. Mm -hmm. But I cannot tell you that tomorrow I'm going to look into your spirit. I don't have that capacity. It's something that you can just peep into and probably the Spirit says, I've showed you this for this reason. Mm -hmm. No man of God can determine whose spirit he is going to see in his entire life. Mm -hmm. The human spirit is a protected area. The Lord does not want arbitrary access to the human spirit. Mm -hmm. This is why you don't even see it yourself. And if God doesn't grant you the grace, you may die without seeing your real self. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you look yourself into the mirror, you are seeing a dummy. Right. The real you cannot be seen with these eyes. No. You are going to need a special eye to see your spirit. These eyes cannot see your no. spirit. No. Otherwise, if these eyes see your spirit, it's no longer a spirit. <laughs> and these are some of the things that troubled me at the beginning of my ministry I was wondering what exactly does God want us to know when I realized that 
I don't know myself. Mm -hmm. Because what you know is your body. Yes. Have you ever listened to your voice not? <laughs> Pastor Rengu. Am I? Have you ever listened to your voice not? Yes. Is that the voice that you hear when you are talking? It's different. It's different. It's different. Mm -hmm. When you talk like I'm doing now, mm -hmm. you are hearing your voice, but it is coming from your mouth and spreading all around you. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it is now filtered. Mm -hmm. But when you speak into a mic and it's recorded, mm -hmm. it's concentrated. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the voice that people hear when you talk mm -hmm. and the voice that you hear when you talk are totally different. Yes. 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 These are the mysteries of God. Mm -hmm. But I was wondering, so the real me, the real spirit that was created mm -hmm. is not this body. Mm -hmm. What am I doing then on the mirror? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. What do I want to see? Mm -hmm. So when, I, when you are on the mirror, you are not looking at yourself. Mm -hmm. You are looking at your body. Mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs> the real you uh, uh, you haven't seen it no and if God doesn't become very gracious towards you you may actually go without having seen your real you mm. yeah. when you leave the board that is the first time True. you are going to see your real you but I'm sad man was one of bum just that way. You don't even know how you look. Yes. <laughs> when I realized it in 2014, it made me a lot. I remember praying that the Lord may give me a just a katukunu nuka vision. To shed down your souls, you want now. Tamira, Pazo, to do a mere wangu. You can come out of the flesh and go into a spiritual experience. Mm -hmm. You can feel the, feel the spirit. Mm -hmm. But in order for you to see your spirit, you need an, another gadget to stand there. Hey. So that as you do it on the mirror, you only go to the mirror. One mirror, no credit. You don't have to worry about the problem. Yes. You don't have to worry about it. Where, where, who will create such a mirror or devise such a mirror for us? Let's leave that one. But if you go to First Corinthians chapter, First Corinthians chapter thirteen, the apostle was worried also about this matter. He realized that we don't even know ourselves. Mm -hmm. And yet we go around telling people that we know them very much. Mm -hmm. I know you. There's nothing about you that mm -hmm. I do not know. Mm -hmm. And the Lord says, what? First Corinthians chapter 13, verse 12, verse 11 and 12. When I was a child. When you were a child. I speak as a child. You speak as a child. I understood as a child. You understood as a child. I thought as a you child. You thought as a child. But when I became a man. What did you do? I put away childish things. All right. We thank God you had to put away childish things. Mm -hmm. Verse 13. And now abides faith. Mm -mm. Verse 12. Verse 12. For now we see through a glass now darkly. Now we see through a glass lightly. Darkly. darkly. Okay. But then face to face. Then you are going to see face to face. So what? I know in part. Now you know in part. Now I know in part. But then shall I know even as also I am known. Mm -hmm. He was worried, the poor he said, but yeah. I know I am known. Mm -hmm. But what I don't know, I don't mm -hmm. know. I am known, but I don't know myself. Mm -hmm. hey. But there is a day mm -hmm. when I shall see him face to face. Yes. That is the day Amen. you shall know yourself. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> 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 yes, when you see him face to face, yes, Tom Zom just won away. Yes, yes. I am a soon as a terror. When Paul said, When we, the, now we see through a glass, yes. glass darkly, mm. darkly. Mm. and then he said, But then we shall see face to face. Mm -hmm. 
And then he said, when we see face to face, mm -hmm. I shall know myself, mm -hmm. even as I am and also known. known. This scripture, brethren, it's full of horror. Ah. It is actually telling us that Christ is the only mirror that shall give us the capacity to see our spirits mm. as okay. they truly are. Mm. Okay. Remember, we stayed in a mirror to look at ourselves. Yes. Mm -hmm. According to verse 12 of 1 Corinthians 13, mm -hmm. Christ is the, the true mirror mm -hmm. where we shall see ourselves. When we see him face to face, mm -hmm. that is the opportunity to and also know ourselves, ourselves as we are known <laughs> by him. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you are not following. Mm. <laughs> Do you know why the mirror can show how you look when you stand at the mirror? It is because the mirror can capture your image. So you are going to see your image, which is in the mirror. mirror. Yes. You see yourself, but the image is in the mirror. Mm -hmm. yes. So a mirror is a special glass mm. designed to reflect our images. Mm -hmm. Yes. It is the capacity to recreate you as exactly as you are. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so when we look into Christ face to face, yes. mm -hmm. he is the one who shall be holding our ex image yes. exactly as we are. Hey. But of course, it's a can of worms. I have to abandon it because I was trying to push you to imagine and to consider that why would Christ be Christ be carrying our image on himself that when we see him face to face, we are going to see both him and ourselves? Yes. The answer is the creation mystery. When God said, let us make men in our image, he put all our image in him. He is the image of God. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like a, it's not wrong, but to see ourselves in him, Remember, God took us from him when he created us. Yes. Let us make men in our image. Mm. He is the image of the Godhead. Yes. All right, <laughs> Pastor. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> it's a mystery. It's a mystery, right? A mystery. <laughs> so let's, let's, let's move fast. The issue here, brethren, is this is what makes you a human being. The human spirit, the pneuma. Mm -hmm. Lord dead breathed into the human sucks the body, mm -hmm. and the outcome is the nephesh. Mm -hmm. Now, there are scriptures where you find these three words appearing concurrently. And one might be tempted to say, but Apostle, why then, then does the Bible talk about the body, the spirit, and the soul? One of those scriptures is Hebrews Chapter 4, verse 12. Please, let's read it. I don't want to leave you with the doubts. There is nothing called the human soul in the human body. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the charismatic and the, 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 the protestant and the uh, prophetic theologians have come up with dubious illustrations to say, your soul is your conscience. That is not a true, brethren. The word conscience, it addresses a value system laminated to your spirit mm -hmm. or a value system laminated to your mind. It's like a software that runs your mind. Mm -hmm. It's not a spirit. Mm -hmm. So we can safely say the spiritual conscience is this value system of your human spirit. Mm. It is what it tells you this is wrong, this is right. It is not a component added to say the human life is made up of the human body, the human spirit, and the human soul. No. <laughs> Actually, the, the word conscience in the Bible is never used near the word soul in the entire scripture. Mm. It's actually a Dracula but it is wearing a white suit with a shiny shoe. <laughs> and so because it's recorded in books, people are lured to believe it. But it's neither here nor there. There's nothing like that. Your conscience is not your soul. Not at all. 
Let's read Hebrews chapter 12, chapter 4, verse 12. For the word of God is quick and powerful. All right, the word of God is quick and powerful, yes. And sharper than any two-edged sword. The word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword, yes. Piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. Piercing to the dividing asunder of what? Of soul and spirit. Of soul and spirit. And of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. So I want us to keep what this scripture says and read 1 Thessalonians 5.23. The dividing asunder of a soul and spirit. Yes. These are some of the scriptures that people then say, but the Bible talks about the soul and spirit. Mm. Why are you saying there is nothing called the soul in the body? Yes. Of course, of course, you need to slow down and to be committed to learning. Mm. If these questions come from people who are really interested in learning, we say hallelujah to that. Amen. Mm. But if you try to argue, your argumentative approach will actually choke your learning until you learn nothing, but you end up with a confusion which is self-evolved. Yes. And the very God of peace sanctify the, the, you yes. holy. And yes. I pray, God, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved <laughs> blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. These are the scriptures they say. Well, the Bible says he wants to preserve the body, the soul, and the spirit mm -hmm. unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. So there is something called the soul and something called the spirit. These two are different. These are the scriptures that they cite. All right. But if you are not really here to argue, you would actually uh, be more interested when you, when you are a student of scripture. After reading this scripture, you are going to ask a very important question. Since when does God preserve a body mm -hmm. unto the coming of the Lord mm -hmm. Jesus Christ? Mm -hmm. Which body? Mm -hmm. has ever been preserved mm -hmm. for the coming of Jesus Christ. The kupi kune mutumbi jeje waka chenge jiri wa jeso kutikana wawu awia au wane waka naka. That question would tell you that the apostle is talking about something else. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, Where do we have a preserved body, body. for the coming mm -hmm. of the Lord the Jesus Lord Christ? Jesus. Mm -hmm. So the very God of peace might sanctify you holy, mm -hmm. and I pray God, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless mm -hmm. unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. where do you? Autumbo diwe kunashi. Au diwe kunashi za chose. Au diwe. Yes. Saka nekuda kwe kudaru. Atu kuone kuti titi mwari za choko adi. Zaire wa ni mposto rapa. Aito rewa miwiri yedu chayi. Kutumu ya yedu. Nemu ya yedu. Nemu ya yedu. Nemu yedu. Nga inge ya kache na kushikira jesa achuya. Diana ya shikiri wa yedu muwiri. Musu wa anu ya jesa. Amen. Now, the correct understanding is Paul was simply emphasizing that as long as you are still in the body, mm. live a blameless life yes. for you to make it on the day of the Lord Jesus mm. Christ. Yes. Mm. He was not discussing the spirit, the soul, and the body. No. Mm. So no. when you understand the subject matter, yeah. yes. you are then able to say, okay, what was the theme of this verse? Mm. Mm -hmm. It is not saying human life is made up of the spirit, the soul, and the body. Mm. Because these three were not in an anatomical lecture. Mm -hmm. This was a doctrinal issue where the apostle was bidding farewell as he concluded his first letter to Thessalonica. Mm -hmm. So the human body is a component of the soul. The human spirit is the member of the human soul. Mm -hmm. Once we take out the human spirit from the human body, there is no soul no. to talk about. No. No. You understand? Yes. 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 I'm, I'm sure I've explored this. 
But the transition is human spirit, human body mm -hmm. equals to human soul. Yes. That's the uh, chemical composition per se mm -hmm. of the human life. Mm -hmm. What then brought us to the flesh and blood concept? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because all from the creation narrative, mm -hmm. the human life was made up of uh, body and spirit. Yes. Body and, and spirit. Yes. That's the living soul. That's now the living soul. Mm -hmm. Yes. When did God start to talk about flesh and blood? What caused the transition? Between from 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 spirit and body mm -hmm. okay. to flesh, flesh and blood. And blood. Mm -hmm. Are you following? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Because there are places where God talks about flesh and blood, flesh and blood, flesh and blood, mm -hmm. flesh and blood. Mm -hmm. For example, Matthew chapter 16, verse 16. Mm -hmm. That's the first example. Yes. Right? We are exploring. When did God stop uh, talking about spirit and body mm -hmm. and started talking about flesh and blood? Mm -hmm. And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon bar Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. Yes, yes, yes. Ezekiel 39, verse 18 says, uh, from verse 17, Ezekiel 39, verse 17, And thou, thou son, son of, of man, man, yes. Yes. And thou son of man, thus said the Lord God, speak unto every feathered fowl and to every beast of the field, assemble yourselves and come, gather yourselves on every side to my sacrifice that I do sacrifice for you, even a great sacrifice, upon the mountains of Israel, that you may eat flesh and drink blood. Mm -hmm. That's 18. You shall not, sorry, you shall eat the flesh of the mighty and drink the blood of the princes of the earth, of rams, of lambs, and of gods, of bullocks, all of them fatlings of Bashan. Flesh and blood, Deuteronomy 32, 42 says, I will make mine arrows drunk with blood and my sword shall devour flesh, and that with the blood of the slain and of the captives from the beginning of revenges upon the enemy. Mm -hmm. yes. Isaiah 49, 26 says, And I'll feed them that oppress you with their own flesh, and they shall be drunken with their own blood, as with the sweet wine, and all flesh shall know that I am the Lord, mm -hmm. and, and am thy Savior, and mm -hmm. thy Redeemer. Yes. The mighty one of Jacob. So there is a transition now where the Bible starts to talk about flesh and blood, mm -hmm. flesh and blood, mm -hmm. flesh and blood. Mm -hmm. No longer spirit and body. And would you want to acknowledge this matter that I'm going to talk about now that when we look at the order of creation, yes. the right language should be Human life is made up of spirit and body. Mm -hmm. But because it's something that sounds less rhythmical, the writers of, of spiritual and religious literature, they rearranged the order. They now say body and spirit, body and spirit, body and spirit. And yet the precedent law, has showed us that that which is mentioned first, yes. number one, is the most important. Yes. Number two is the beginning of whatever process that scripture is talking about. Mm -hmm. okay. Human life started with the creation of the human spirit mm -hmm. and not the formation of the human body. Yes. So the order of definition must be spirit mm -hmm. and body. body. But it's less rhythmical when we pronounce it. Okay. It doesn't rhyme well. Yeah. Yeah. Spirit yeah. and body, it's difficult to pronounce. Let's call body it body and spirit. spirit. 
But what the devil is doing is mm -hmm. God one wanted to, whereas God wanted to emphasize the spirit, mm -hmm. the uh -huh. devil emphasizes the flesh. Yeah. Yeah. So the it's now a flesh mm -hmm. and a spirit matter mm -hmm. instead of a spirit mm -hmm. and flesh, flesh matter. matter. So a spirit conscious person mm -hmm. would say, my body is aching. Mm -hmm. All right? Yes. Mm -hmm. But I am fine in the spirit. Mm -hmm. Because what God did is that God created the human spirit mm -hmm. right. and realized that it does not have functionality mm -hmm. because of territorial constraints. Yes. This body, this spirit mm -hmm. is in the earth. Mm -hmm. For it to be operational, functional, mm -hmm. it needs a body. Mm -hmm. So when you remember what I preached in the first gift to Adam, mm -hmm. I taught you that the body is the first gift that God gave to Adam. Mm -hmm. He was already Adam yes. without yes. the body. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Was. So the spirit can say my body is not feeling well. Mm -hmm. But it is not spiritually accurate for the body to say, my spirit. <laughs> because the spirit is not a property of the body. No. But the body is the property of, of the, spirit. the spirit. This is why the spirit can disown the body right. and relocate to another realm. Without you losing your identity. Mm. <laughs> but when the body remains without the spirit, mm. it loses its identity. It's now an asset, an object. Matora ere mutumbi wake. A corpse. Iko kutoti wake, kubvuma kuti iya aenda. Aenda. Kureva kuti munu chai is the spirit. Yes. yes. The yes. body is not the real person. Amen. Amen. Huh? Yes, mm -hmm. it's clear. <laughs> it's clear, right? Oh, yes, yeah. it's clear. Mutumbi wake wa shika ere kumusha. Tuda kumuradzika mangwana. Mutumbi, mutumbi, mutumbi wake. Kuroti iya hapo, tasara ni mutumbi wake. Kureva kutipatati mutumbi wake, tato vuma. Kuti mutumbi chinu chake. Iya asi mutumbi. Tinogu na otosangana, naya asi na mutumbi. Because Saka kuti iwe ugoti mwea wangu urukubatikana. Urukutotuza kuti mwea i property ya mtumbi. Shina isho koruno tipane mtumbi ndo pa munu wana magora. I hope these matters are not confusing you. So, flesh and blood. The Lord said, blessed art thou, Simon, by Jonah. Yes. Mm -hmm. For flesh and blood yes. has not revealed okay. this unto you, mm -hmm. but my Father, mm -hmm. which is in yes. heaven. Mm -hmm. The question is, when did we deviate from spirit and body mm -hmm. to flesh and, and blood? blood? Another scripture is 1 Corinthians 15, mm -hmm. verse 50. Now, this I say, brethren, yes. that flesh and blood mm -hmm. cannot inherit the kingdom of God, yes. neither does corruption inherit in corruption. Mm. Now, if you were wondering what is the necessity, the necessity mm -hmm. to explore this mm -hmm. transition, yes. because the man was made up of spirit and, and body, Lord. suddenly the Lord is no longer talking about yes. spirit and yes. body is now talking about flesh, flesh and, and blood. blood. What's the transition? What mm -hmm. caused the transition? Mm -hmm. If you're wondering, why are we asking these questions? Mm -hmm. The answer is, measuring on flesh and blood is problematic mm -hmm. because these both are not entering heaven. Right. 
they are they are realm bad. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. There is the scripture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There is the scripture. Mm -hmm. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 50. Yes. It actually emphatically unequivocally yes. declares yes. Yes. your body will not yes. go to yes. heaven. Yes. yes. There is the scripture. Yes. Mm -hmm. Flesh and the blood yes. inside the flesh mm -hmm. will not enter heaven. Mm -hmm. Neither will this body be resurrected from the dead. Mm -hmm. That's what verse 50b means mm -hmm. when it says, neither that corruption, corruption inherit in corruption. corruption. Go and compare it with Acts chapter 2, mm -hmm. where David had said, thou would not suffer thine holy one to see corruption. Yeah. And the apostle then said, he was talking concerning the resurrection yes. of Jesus Christ. Right. Mm -hmm. So when we hear the words corruption inheriting in corruption, mm -hmm. It's the human body mm -hmm. being re resurrected from the dead. Mm -hmm. According to scripture, there is no plan in heaven mm -hmm. to resurrect our bodies ever. Mm -hmm. Once your body is buried, mm -hmm. that's the end yes. of your body. Yes. Yes. Put it up. Put it up. Others will say, well, but Apostle... We were told about Marangwanda in Zacha to Zomuka, Kato Shaw, Marangwanda, Jamuka. Marangwanda has Kumuka, Sisurdo. Come, I die. Marangwanda has Kumuka. Huh? Look who's in the way. Hakuna Marangwanda, Gumuka, Murgunye Perwa. Okay, one of us is Chamuka Marangwanda. You need to know resign our apostle Musiwo. Here, I think I'm a VCA. Dear Ningawa Pastor Wangu, Tanga Musiwo. I don't know about it. The Messi Magataris. Can I give a game in Jotor Tenga? To Tenga or Chimbang with Michanger. To Tanga or Gurizaji. Guriza Uro. Kunga Angaiwa. There is no resurrection of the human body, mm -hmm. not at all. Such a doctrine is foreign to scripture. Now this I say, brethren, mm -hmm. that flesh and blood, in mm -hmm. brackets, mm -hmm. that is the human body, mm -hmm. cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. yes. Neither does corruption, corruption. inherit in, in corruption. corruption. Is this clear now? It's clear. Mm -hmm. Yes. There is no room for the human body to rise up from the grave, like what happened with Lazarus. Mm -hmm. As we speak right now, Lazarus died again, and his body will never rise up again. Mm -hmm. Verse 51. Behold, I show you a mystery. Which, which mystery are you showing us? We shall not all sleep. Mm -hmm. We shall not all die. But we shall all be changed. Uh -huh. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Amen. Yeah. Yes. If you wanted to explore this doctrine further, you may go down mm -hmm. to verse 35. Yeah. We have explored this. I think Zikla guides, mm -hmm. you know that that yes. which is planted, planted. does yes. not grow with yes. the same nature. Uh, yes. It yes. dies. It yes. dies, yes. We have no time to go into those uh, details, we have covered them so many times, over and over again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, if flesh and blood mm has -hmm. no place in heaven, mm -hmm. why take away the way the spirit from the conversation of the human element mm -hmm. and replace it with the word flesh and blood? Mm -hmm. By the way, do you know that saying flesh and blood is saying flesh times two. Because blood is a component of the, the flesh. flesh. The flesh. Yes. Saying flesh and blood is also saying flesh, flesh and flesh. And flesh. Mm -hmm. Blood is a component of the flesh. Either you are talking from a chemistry perspective or from a biology perspective, or you are talking from a spiritual perspective. Mm -hmm. Blood is an, a component of the flesh. In simple terms, you can't find blood without having to uh, find flesh, flesh first. 
It is the flesh that carries blood. This is why we don't get blood from pumpkins, because pumpkins have no flesh. Mm -hmm. This is why we don't have blood from potatoes, mm -hmm. because potatoes have no, have flesh. no flesh. We need the flesh to obtain blood. blood. This is a transition that mm -hmm. is very interesting. We might want to look deeper into that. Blood is sacred. Mm -hmm. Why is blood sacred? sacred? Let's leave that. But why the transition mm -hmm. from spirit and body mm -hmm. to, flesh and blood. to flesh and blood? Mm -hmm. Spirit and body, mm -hmm. flesh, and, flesh blood. and blood. Spirit and, and body. body. That's the original man. Mm -hmm. yes. the, original, the original man is a spirit and body. Mm -hmm. But the current man is flesh, flesh and, blood. and blood. What transitioned men? from being a spirit and body man to being a flesh and blood man? Mm. The answer is Genesis chapter 6, verse number 3. <laughs> Genesis chapter 6, verse number 3. And, and, and I want Lord. to say, I want to say, I want to say, if you analyze Genesis chapter 6, verse 3, you understand that that's, that's where the triple six started. Mm -hmm. okay. The first triple six number in the Bible mm. is Genesis chapter 6, verse 3. Mm. All right. This is the first verse that speaks to the mark of the beast. Mm. You might want to compare it with Revelation chapter 13 from verse number 11 to explore it further, but let's not address the mark of the beast. But those who know the mark of the beast, the first revelation of the mark of the beast in the scriptures is Genesis chapter 6, verse 3. It triple six, Yamurgona. All right. Mm. Six, six, six. Let's see if this is correct. Read it. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with men, for that he also is flesh, yet his days shall be in hundred and twenty years. Again. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with men. Yes. For that he also is flesh. Yes. Yet his days shall be in hundred and twenty years. Pastor Shuma, can you read it for the last time? And the Lord said, my spirit shall not always strive with men. So the triple six is an anti-Christ movement. Right. It is actually an opposing Christ movement. Mm -hmm. And this is why the word strive mm -hmm. is there in the scripture. Genesis chapter 6 verse 3 is a fight, a war mm -hmm. between the spirit of God and men. And this is what the triple six is all about. But what causes this striving mm -hmm. between men and the Spirit of God? Mm -hmm. For that he also so is his flesh. flesh. So, tell me, believer, that God discovered that man is a flesh yeah. in verse 3 of Genesis chapter 6. But when he formed the flesh <laughs> in Genesis chapter 2 verse 7, he did not know that man is flesh. Huh? What does that mean? Mm. It yes. looks like it's a discovery where God said, oh, but ah. there's not, this war will not, uh, would never end, end between my spirit and man. Mm -hmm. Look, look, man is also mm -hmm. flesh. flesh. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is disappointing. Mm -hmm. Now I know why this war is never going to end. end. It's time to end mm -hmm. the man's life. Mm -hmm. So God said, I will end the man's life in 120 years from now. Mm -hmm. This is a verdict against the Antichrist. Mm -hmm. huh? mm. Mm -hmm. It looks like God is saying, because I've discovered that man is a flesh, my spirit will not abide with him. But man was a flesh from inception. Mm -hmm. Yes. But what is actually God saying in Genesis chapter 6, verse 3? We can't deceive ourselves here. That man was discovered to be flesh by God in Genesis yes, chapter 6. No. If it is God who made that flesh in Genesis chapter, chapter 2, two, verse 7. 
this is scripture is saying something much deeper than that. Mm -hmm. And that is the death of the human spirit mm -hmm. in Genesis mm -hmm. chapter 3. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> the human spirit died right. in Adam. <laughs> yes, yes. And yeah, so God yeah, yes. could not have continued to say spirited, spirited body, body. Okay. when the yeah. spirit has died. Has died. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so when man used to be spirit and body, yeah. man is now body yeah. and body. body. <laughs> not spirit. That's, <laughs> not spirit. That's now blood and flesh. <laughs> yeah, flesh. flesh. This is now the flesh and blood yes. concept. Yes. Wow. This wow. is now the blood, the wow. flesh and blood concept. Mm -hmm. Flesh plus flesh, flesh. Wow. equals to flesh, flesh and blood. And blood. <laughs> wow, that's where this came from. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Is it not amazing, Pastor Shuma? That's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Am I? <laughs> so the human spirit was no longer functional. Mm -hmm. And so man was now using his flesh and his blood mm -hmm. to function. Mm -hmm. And so God continued to say, no, this man is flesh, but I've realized that he's also flesh. Yes. He's now a double, a double flesh, flesh man. Flesh. <laughs> flesh. <laughs> this is why Jesus said to Peter, flesh and flesh, did not review this unto oh, you, yes, but yes. my Father, yes. which is in heaven. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I hope this is not confusing and too deep. Let's breathe for a moment in a tete a tete and come to conclude our message. Stay with us.
All right. So um, I have to find a way to conclude this message. Number one, um, Genesis chapter 3, verse 6, mm -hmm. is the only place in the creation chapters where God tells us something that he had never said before, that Adam mm -hmm. was being instructed by the Spirit of God from the time he was created mm -hmm. and from the time that he was formed mm -hmm. and the time that he became functional. Mm -hmm. God sent the Spirit of God mm -hmm. to speak to Adam. But since Adam rebelled and fell from the instructions in chapter 3, mm -hmm. Adam started fighting mm -hmm. with the Spirit of God. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. And so the fight continued mm -hmm. until the Lord said, there's no need for this fight. What I will simply need to do is to make sure my spirit should never entertain this man. Uh -huh. Let him live without yeah. my spirit. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So in Genesis chapter 3, verse 6, mm -hmm. God withdrew mm -hmm. the operations of the Holy Spirit on Adam mm -hmm. and he said, it's not working. Mm -hmm. The Spirit of God says this to Adam. Mm -hmm. Adam does, does the, opposite. the opposite. It's a striving. Yeah. Yeah. Genesis chapter 6, verse 3. So I don't want this war to continue. And also, I have decided to bring judgment mm -hmm. upon this world mm -hmm. because of this rebellion. Mm -hmm. But I would wish that we could juxtapose Genesis chapter 6, verse 3, mm -hmm. and Galatians chapter 5, verse 16 and 17, mm -hmm. okay. so that we may understand that this is actually a tried and tested uh -huh. uh, 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 principle and it was proven mm -hmm. that a, a man who is carnal mm -hmm. cannot entertain the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh. Galatians 5, 16 and 17. This I say then, Walk in the spirit. Walk in the spirit. And you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Mm -hmm. All right? For the flesh lusts against the spirit. All right. And the spirit against the flesh. Yes. And these are contrary the one to the other. So that you cannot do the things that you would. For the first time, mm -hmm. it's a Paul who tells us what was happening in the Adam family's hey. life. Hey. <laughs> 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 Yes. Did you see that? Ah, that's a fight for sure. <laughs> it's a battle. Yes. The flesh lasts against the spirit. Yes. And the spirit instructs against the flesh. Mm -hmm. hey. So God had sent the spirit mm. to guide Adam, mm -hmm. which details are not there. Mm -hmm. Whether you are talking about Genesis chapter 2 or chapter 3, mm -hmm. it's Genesis chapter 6 that says, the Lord says, my spirit is always striving with men. I don't want it to happen again. Mm -hmm. And then the Lord said, I'll end humanity in that case. Mm -hmm. yes. I hope you follow me. This is a very interesting message. So the human spirit is that which mm -hmm. is the uh, ability to fellowship with men, with the Holy Spirit. With the Holy Spirit. The human spirit is the one with the ability mm -hmm. to fellowship with the Holy Spirit yes. and not the flesh. Not the flesh. Mm -hmm. So what happened with Adam is that the human spirit, the companion of the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. died. died. <laughs> and what was left was the body. Yes. And the Holy Spirit continued to give instructions. Oh. And this is what the flesh was resisting. Yeah. Get away. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is the war yeah. that then happened yeah. since the death mm. of the spirit of Adam mm. through the Adamic fall yes. in yes. Genesis hey. chapter, three. chapter 3. Verse ah. 6. <laughs> That's the most interesting part. Am I? 
to say men fell on Genesis chapter 3, verse 6. Yes, and yes. And then the Lord is Genesis 6, verse 3. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Monaka awa. Saka, shamanga ari ya Holy Spirit, mwe ya wa kwewewe. Ndi ya anotika na mwe ya kataura. Mwe ya wa kwa uno zinzwa. Wote ayu wanda zinzwa, mashuka yaka na regaiti tesa izo. Mwe. Dogba mwe ya uya wafa. It's like Pastor Chumasi's son. All right? He's a friend. Yes. And then Pastor Chuma sends his son away. This son, his friend, his son's friend, who usually came to his house, is your son around? Pastor Chuma says he's in his room. And the friend goes into the room. Mm -hmm. They spend the whole day there, mm -hmm. laughing and giggling and playing games. Mm -hmm. Pastor Chuma sends his son to another country, to mm -hmm. university. Mm -hmm. And then Pastor Chuma says to this friend, mm -hmm. you no longer come to my house these days. Mm -hmm. What Why? wrong have I done? <laughs> the friend of Pastor Chuma's son will say, when I used to come to your house, yes. I was visiting your son. Yes, yes. I am not your friend. No. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> as long as your son is it's not back yeah. from school, yeah. I will never come, come to your come house. house. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And Pastor Chuma cannot get offended and say, but that's not nice now. No. Yes. We are used to seeing you coming every after <laughs> the other day. Mm. Yes. This is what happened. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the human spirit mm -hmm. is a child of God. Mm -hmm. It was created in the image yeah, of God. God. It carries the DNA yeah. of, of God. God. When God speaks, mm -hmm. the human spirit would mm -hmm. want to listen. Yes. Mm -hmm. The human body mm -hmm. was not fashioned after God. Yes. The human body was made from the dust That's, of the ground. Yes. It was yes. fashioned after the earth. Yes. Yes. Talk about earthly issues. Mm. Ah. The body will say, where is it happening? <laughs> I'm going to be there. Can I go and change my clothes? Yes. Talk about any yes. earthly issues. Yes. The human body will wake up, yes. even at midnight. Mm. Right now. Shikango nzu kuna kuna dindi ndi jeshi. Dere nyika. Munu wacho waka gaziri wanevre nyika. Saka she nyika. Dozi no dairi wane nyama yako. She mge ya nyama yako wa idaire. Saka mge ya kanga kuya uzo chaka shamari yake. Yes. Tine mga no wataka gazira, no garapano. Do watawe uzo taura nae. Nyama yoti muba makwana she. Ina mne ine ni ndofunga mkango duona mno tuona uti atujizani. Shama renya kashaika. Leave me alone. So Genesis chapter 6 is God telling us that it was not prudent for my spirit even to try to give instructions to the flesh. These two are not compatible. So God says, my spirit shall not always drive with men yeah. mm -hmm. because he is a flesh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you see now? Yes, yes, yes. 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 So ah, these are the, <laughs> the things that bothered God. Who can I instruct now? Mm -hmm. Even when there is a sermon, mm -hmm. who will say amen, amen to, to that, that sermon? Mm -hmm. The spirit man has died. Has died. Mm -hmm. When we want to pray, who will be praying? The spirit man is He's dead. dead. If we conduct an all-night prayer right now, mm -hmm. it's your flesh mm -hmm. that will be shouting to God yeah. the whole night. night. After every 15 minutes, it will be yawning. Wow. <laughs> when is this prayer ending? <laughs> I want to sleep. I'm so tired. Mm -hmm. But God had already spoken about yes. it. Mm -hmm. yes. If you are going to start a church, mm -hmm. make sure you don't bother the flesh. Mm -hmm. This flesh is tried and tested. Yes. It doesn't want anything to do with God. Yes. It's not something that the devil has done. No. It is God who did it. Mm. Yes. The raw materials from which the body was formed mm. is the cause of worry. Amen. Hey. Hey. If God wanted our flesh to listen, mm. he couldn't have made it from the dust of the ground. Oh, oh yes. 
Could he have taken dust from heaven? Maybe better. <laughs> he could have taken dust from the streets of heaven. It could be better. He took this dust of the ground. Yes. And this is why we struggle to win you from following mm. mortal mm. issues that yes. are lasted yes. after yes. by your flesh. Yes. Mm. James chapter 4, verse 4 and 5. James chapter 4, verse 4 and 5. Let's start from verse 3. Verse 3, you ask and receive not yes. because you ask amiss yes. that you may consume it upon your lusts. You adulterers. You adulterers and adulteresses. Imi mombwe rume ne mombwe hazi. No, he not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Is the enemy of God. Of God. Yes, Ukango shamwari zana nenyika wavamu vengi wa mngare. Yes. Mm. Right. So the men died in Genesis chapter 3, the mm. true men, yes. the spirit men. Yes. All that God had given as an instruction to Adam mm -hmm. was now locked in a corpse. Mm -hmm. But because God did not take out the dead spirit mm -hmm. from Adam's body, mm -hmm. Adam's body continued to function. Right, right, right. And this is why the devil seemed to have been true to Adam and his wife, saying, you are not going to die. Just eat this fruit, you will never die. Mm -hmm. The death of the human spirit mm. does not take you to the mortuary. No. It is the departure of the human spirit that takes, takes you to the mortuary. Right. The death of the human mm -hmm. spirit mm -hmm. does mm -hmm. not send you to the grave. No. It is the departure right. of the human spirit from your body yeah. mm -hmm. that sends you to the grave. Yes. So the human spirit of Adam died, mm -hmm. but because it had not departed, mm -hmm. Adam seemed to have continued with his life. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. But yes. the life he started living mm -hmm. was now flesh plus flesh, mm -hmm. equals to flesh and blood. Yes. Right. Yes. So God then decided, I can't leave this flesh and blood situation mm -hmm. to be a rogue banana republic, mm -hmm. okay. a pariah republic. Okay. Okay. Let me find something that I can use to speak to men, even when his body, his spirit, has died. Mm -hmm. The man is now flesh and blood. Mm -hmm. The spirit is dead. Mm -hmm. Can I do something to preserve something that I will save one day mm -hmm. when my son goes into the earth to save humanity from its own corruption? Mm -hmm. God then said, this dead man with a dead spirit who is now flesh and flesh, mm -hmm. I am going to use his blood to control his life so that my son will not find the whole human race wiped out because of self-defeating corruption. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the human blood in the human body mm -hmm. is playing a de facto spiritual role okay. mm -hmm. to the human life. Okay. Mm -hmm. Everything that your human spirit is doing, mm -hmm. your blood is also doing the same. All right. For example, it is not your stomach that feeds your body. It's your blood. Well, it's yeah. blood that yes. carries nutrients yes. from the stomach yeah. to every part of your body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Which means... People feed from the blood. Yes. Mm -hmm. They don't feed from their stomachs. No. Mm -hmm. The stomach is like a granary. Mm -hmm. The blood is the kitchen. Yes. yes. People feed from the blood. blood. If we are tasting sugar right now, we don't taste your stomach, do we? <laughs> no. We taste your blood. blood. Mm -hmm. What about diseases? Mm -hmm. If you want to taste how healthy you are, mm -hmm. what do we taste? The blood. blood. We test your blood. Mm. This is why God then valued the blood right. and he said, Blood is sacred mm -hmm. because the life of every animal mm -hmm. 
-hmm. is in its blood. You want DNA, check the blood. Mm -hmm. You want to look at the uh, RNA, mm -hmm. check the blood. Yes. Mm -hmm. You want to check the white blood cells, mm. you check the blood. Mm. So the blood is something that if we take a sample of your blood, we can write a book about you. And some of the things that you can lie to us about using your mouth, Mm -hmm. Your blood is the only place mm -hmm. where we can get the truth about your life. Yes. Mm. This is why after telling the doctor how you are feeling, mm. the doctor doesn't believe you. He says, I will have to speak to your blood, even after writing notes yes. from your own feedback. Mm. I, I, I wake up three times every night. I am sweating. I am I I I I I have got a bloated stomach. Mm. I I I am restless. I am anxious. I have no appetite. The doctor will say, "Okay, we have written your symptoms," mm -hmm. but the blood will not tell us your symptoms. The blood will tell us the real cause mm. of all these symptoms. Mm. Okay. Go and get a full blood count. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. So. The blood is like the central system of the human body mm -hmm. as much as the human spirit is the central system of the whole human life. Mm -hmm. When God wants to find anything about you, he checks your human spirit. But if your human spirit is dead, mm -hmm. God can still manage you from your blood. Mm -hmm. okay. So Hebrews says, to the spirit of just men mm, made, perfect. Made, made perfect. We are now spirits. Mm -hmm. We are no longer flesh mm -hmm. and blood. Amen. What has changed? Amen. Sanctification. Yes. The words made perfect, mm -hmm. they mean sanctified. Amen. Amen. You understand? Yes. Mm -hmm. When Jesus died on the cross, mm -hmm. he acquired mm -hmm. authority. Yes. To resurrect the dead human spirit. Mm -hmm. This is why salvation is described as being born again. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's the resurrection of a dead human spirit. Mm -hmm. Once again, God mm -hmm. can now send his Holy Spirit mm -hmm. back to the human being Amen. from whom <laughs> he withdrew his spirit <laughs> as early in the human history. Uh, as Genesis chapter 6, verse 3. Mwayawa kasotor wakare ku Genesis chapter 6, verse 3. For the first time, mwari akunza. So in Genesis, hey. in John chapter 7, people were wondering, why is Jesus promising to give Holy Spirit mm -hmm. when he rises from the dead? The scripture says in verse 39, he was talking about the Holy Spirit, which believers should receive. Yes. For the Holy Spirit was not yet given. And the reason for the for the for the withdrawal of the Holy Spirit is that mm -hmm. Jesus is not, not yet, yet glorified. Yes. Mm -hmm. The yes. glorification yes. of Jesus yes. is the uh, qualification of Jesus mm -hmm. to wake up all the spirits that are dead mm -hmm. so that they may be made perfect. Mm -hmm. okay. And so when you look at Romans chapter 8, verse 16, mm -hmm. it says the spirit itself be as witness, witness with, with our, our spirit, spirit. Yes. that we are the children, children of God. God. Yes. Yes. Look at the scripture on the screen, believer. Mm -hmm. It doesn't say the spirit bears witness with our souls. No. no. It doesn't say the spirit bears witness to with, with our bodies. Mm -hmm. It bears witness to our spirits. Mm -hmm. Because our spirits mm -hmm. are the only place mm -hmm. where Holy Spirit can function mm -hmm. from. Amen. Amen. You understand? Yes. Amen. 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 So, if right now somebody is distributing gloves, maybe it's winter time, mm -hmm. say charity organization is dishing out gloves to people so that they may not feel cold in their hands. When the, when the, those who are giving out these gloves meet a, a, a maimed man who is no, not even one of his arms, 
Hana maoku ese jao. Can he offer these gloves? No. And it was wrong. Wrong. Ano pwa ma gloves? Dey ane maoku acho. Eku fake ma gloves. Kana usi na maoku, au na ni di eku piwa ma gloves. So because the human spirit was dead, mm -hmm. God could not give yes. Holy Spirit right. before Jesus is risen yes. from the dead. Yes. This is why Jesus continued to say, I will pray the Father. Mm -hmm. He will give you another comforter. I will pray the Father. Yes. He will give you another comforter. Yes. Why do you need to ask the Father? Why can't he just give us now? Mm -hmm. Says, oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> the matters are, there's a treasonous charge. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's a docket of treason yes. in the holy courts of heaven. Yes. Mm -hmm. Many sinned mm -hmm. and many died. Okay. Mm -hmm. Someone who is a qualified barrister yeah. must bring his, his credentials before the courts mm -hmm. to be admitted to stand before the courts and do his mediation on your behalf. Mm -hmm. I have to qualify. My qualifications are, I have to be the righteous son of God. Yes. I must die an innocent death. Mm -hmm. I must rise from the dead. Yes. These are my qualifications. Mm -hmm. So verse 39 of John 7 says, mm -hmm. he could not yes. give Holy Spirit because he was not okay. yet glorified. glorified. Upon his glorification, he stands before God. Mm -hmm. He pays the full price mm -hmm. for our transgressions. Yes and is now qualified to raise us from the dead. Mm -hmm. That's what verse 9 of Hebrews chapter 5 says, mm -hmm. because he was obedient unto to death, death. Yes. he was made perfect, yes. he became yes. the author yes. of yes. Eternal, eternal salvation, salvation. Yes. unto all them mm -hmm. that obey him. Yes. How does the resurrection process happen? Mm -hmm. It doesn't happen that as soon as he rises from the dead, all human spirits rise from the dead. No. no, no. The resurrection is based on obeying the message of Christ. Amen. So the gospel is sent to the whole world. Mm -hmm. Those who receive it are the ones who are resurrected spiritually from the death that Adam died mm -hmm. in the garden. Mm -hmm. This is why you have to hear the gospel, believe it, be baptized. Mm -hmm. Then... The Lord gives you Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit yes. Amen. And we have never understood how dire the consequences are mm -hmm. of living without Holy Spirit. Hey. Mm -hmm. hey. 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 We just got up and we were told, welcome, you were dead since <laughs> the time <laughs> immemorial. Mm -hmm. But thank God, because of Jesus, you have been resurrected from the dead. Mm -hmm. Receive Holy Spirit and you say, Amen. Ask Adam. How does it feel to live without okay. instruction okay. Wow. from the Holy Spirit? It's a terrible life. Oh, yes. God said, my spirit can never live with men mm -hmm. as long as he is flesh. Yes. Mm -hmm. But let's look again at 1 Corinthians 2.12. I want to show you another scripture that will prove again mm -hmm. that if your spirit is not resurrected, mm -hmm. you have no chance of receiving Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Yes. What resurrects your spirit is the gospel of the suffering of Christ. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is why the gospel must be preached first. Mm -hmm. You receive the gospel, yes. then you receive Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you ask for Holy Spirit without believing the gospel, you are asking God to give a corpse Holy Spirit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a Holy Spirit baptism happening in a mortuary. Mm -hmm. Blood is sacred. Mm. Mm. First Corinthians 2 12. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us yes. of God. Yes. Which things also we speak, not in the words which men's wisdom teaches, 
but which the Holy Spirit teaches. Yes. Comparing spiritual things with spiritual. Comparing spiritual things with the spiritual. Mm. Yes. So he says we have received the spirit which is of God, oh. that we might understand mm -hmm. yes. the things that are taught yes. by the spirit of God. Yes. Go back to verse 12. Mm -hmm. We have not received the spirit of the world, mm -hmm. but we have received the spirit of God yes. to understand mm -hmm. the things that are freely given yeah. from God. Yes. This is why God never gave the, the, the New Testament doctrine mm -hmm. to those who were in the time of Moses. Mm -hmm. They did not have Holy Spirit oh, yes. because this, the spirit of God yes. mm -hmm. gives us understanding of the things of God, Amen. not of Moses. Mm. <laughs> yeah. This is why verse 14 says, the natural, the natural man, man does not understand mm -hmm. the, things the things of the spirit, spirit. Mm -hmm. for they are foolishness, foolishness unto him. Mm -hmm. Neither can he know them, mm -hmm. because they are spiritually descent. Amen. The natural man that verse 14 is talking about mm -hmm. is the man that God was talking to in Genesis chapter 6, 6 verse 13. 3. It's a waste of time yes. Mm -hmm. yes. to speak to a flesh and blood man yeah. mm -hmm. about the spiritual things. Yes. Yes. It's a waste of time. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you want a natural man to come to you, Talk natural things. Oh, yeah. Talk football. Yes. Talk politics. Yes. Talk business. Yes. Talk marriages. Yes. Natural men will say amen yes. to those things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. You understand? Yes. 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 Right. <laughs> Let us look at um, Leviticus chapter 7. Leviticus chapter 7, we are going to look again at Leviticus 17. Mm -hmm. We want to see what then is the relevance of the sacredness mm -hmm. of, of blood. blood. Yes. From this one. Likewise, this is the law of the trespass offering. It is most holy. In the place where they kill the burnt offering, shall they kill the trespass offering and the blood thereof shall he sprinkle round about upon the altar. And he shall offer of it all the fat thereof, the ram, and the fat that covers the inwards, and the two kidneys, and the fat that is on them, which is by the flanks, and the cow that is above the liver with the kidneys, it shall, be ta it shall he take away. Verse, verse number... 22. And the Lord, and the spake, Lord yes. spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, You shall eat no manner of fat of ox or of sheep or of God. And the fat of the beast that dies of itself, and the fat of that which is torn with beasts, may be used in any other use, but you shall in no wise eat of it. For whosoever eats the fat of the beast, of which men offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord, even the soul that eats it shall be cut off from his people. 26. Moreover, you shall eat no manner of blood, whether it be of fowl or of beast, in any of your dwellings. Why? Whatsoever so eats, be that eats any manner of blood, even that soul shall be cut off from his people. Yes. Mm. Whatsoever soul. Yes. It's any kind of blood. Mm -hmm. That soul shall, shall be, be cut, cut off, off mm -hmm. from among his, his, his people. people. Mm -hmm. So we can also see that the word soul here yes. is simply referring to people. people. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. He did not say anyone with a soul. Mm -hmm. He says any mm -hmm. soul, which mm -hmm. means... You are the soul. Yes. You are the soul. Yes. You don't have a soul. Mm -hmm. You are the soul. The soul. Yes. yes. Leviticus chapter 17, it's chapter 10, verse 11. Okay. Uh, this, this, not 17. 17, verse 10, 10 and 11, 11. yes. Mm -hmm. And whatsoever men there be of the house of Israel or of the strangers that sojourn among you, yes. that is any manner of blood. I will even set my face against that soul that is blood. 
yes. and will cut him off from among his people. Why would you kill people who are eating blood? For the life of the flesh is in the blood. For the life of the flesh <laughs> is, is in the blood. blood. And I have given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls. For it is the blood that makes an atonement for the soul. You see that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Blood the is blood sacred. that makes atonement. Blood is sacred. Blood is sacred, <laughs> <Yes>. right? <laughs> yes. Believers, can you follow this? Mm -hmm. Can you see that unequivocally? Mm -hmm. Blood is sacred. Yes. 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 Why should we not eat blood? Well, mm. because it is blood mm. Mm -hmm. that makes yes. an atonement, atonement for the soul. soul. Hallelujah. So, coming back, yeah. coming back, you are not following, coming back to Genesis chapter 3 mm -hmm. and Genesis chapter 6. Mm -hmm. Adam's spirit died mm -hmm. in Genesis chapter 3 mm -hmm. and God revoked the fellowship between Holy Spirit and mankind mm -hmm. in Genesis chapter 6. Yes. Because man was now living a fleshly, carnally-minded life. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then God said, how can I rectify this situation? Mm -hmm. How can I return man back to me again? Mm -hmm. God then said, I think if I use blood... Mm -hmm. I can redeem that spirit that died mm -hmm. in Adam mm -hmm. in Genesis chapter 3. Mm -hmm. okay. So let's say, look at me. The, the human life is made up of the human spirit mm -hmm. plus the human mm -hmm. body. Mm -hmm. In which body there is blood. Mm -hmm. The human spirit dies. Man is now left with the human body. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, this man is no longer the person that God created. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there is no likeness between this man and God. And God. Mm -hmm. Because that which looked like God, mm -hmm. behaved like God, mm -hmm. felt like God, mm -hmm. judged like, like God, God, understood like the God, God yes. has died. Mm -hmm. This is what God wants to redeem, right. to atone for. Mm -hmm. Right. The atonement process mm -hmm. was to resurrect the spirit mm -hmm. that died in the garden. Mm -hmm. So when we look at Abel and Cain offering their offerings mm -hmm. in Genesis chapter number four, four. Mm -hmm. that offering was to redeem the spirit of man right. that had died right. in Genesis chapter three. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes. So God says, now that I'm left with a body, mm -hmm. the spirit has died. Mm -hmm. Is there anything inside this body God, that I can use <laughs> to resurrect that one which died mm -hmm. in Genesis chapter 3? Mm -hmm. God said, I can use the blood. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I can use the blood. Uh, yeah. So when God sees blood, uh, he sees an opportunity yes. to redeem the spirit mm -hmm. that is in the mortuary. Hey. Hey. This is why he says, don't eat blood, I'll yes. kill you. <laughs> if you touch blood now, yeah. you are hurting my program. Yes. Mm. This is the only thing that I have hey. that I'm going to use. Hey. So the human body has nothing else of use to God except the blood. The blood. Hallelujah. If I can harness the blood, the blood. Mm -hmm. I can make an atonement mm -hmm. for the soul. Hey, hey. Yeah. Hey. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. hey, hey, hey. Hey. Let's read verse 11 again. I love this one. <laughs> For the life of the flesh is in the blood. The life of any flesh is in the blood. And I have given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls. Yes. For it is the blood that makes an atonement for the soul. Do you know that there is actually a very easy way to kill a person? Mm -hmm. Yes. Just to cut a small place, a small portion mm -hmm. on your major artery on your arms, in 15 minutes you will be dead and you will die quietly. Mm -hmm. There will be no pain. Yeah. Blood will mm -hmm. start to come out yes. of your body yes. mm -hmm. and your body will say, as blood comes out of this body, mm -hmm. life is coming, coming out, out of this body. Yeah. This is how 
powerful blood, blood is. is. Yes, yes, yes. yes. To such an extent that when the doctors detect that you have less blood in your body, mm -hmm. they will make frantic efforts to restore the right amount yes. and the quality of blood, blood. Mm -hmm. in your body. Mm -hmm. Your blood is your life. Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Your blood is your life. Your life. Yes. People must not tamper with your blood. No. Mm -hmm. no. They are tempering with a divine institution mm. which was the only hope that God had hey. to redeeming the soul. Amen. The human spirit has died. Mm -hmm. I have nothing else to use yes. except blood. Mm -hmm. So Israel was not allowed mm -hmm. to eat physical blood. Mm -hmm. Whether it's the blood of chickens or the blood of sheep mm -hmm. or the blood of goats or the blood of cows and cattle. Yes. Israel, until today, mm -hmm. does not eat blood. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. They still follow this law now. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Because yeah. God says, any soul that eats it's blood, blood, I will kill you. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. That's what he said in verse 10. Yes. Yes. Anyone who eats blood will die. Yes. Mm -hmm. Deuteronomy chapter 12, verse number 23 says, Only be sure that thou eat not the blood. Yes. For the blood is the life. life. Mm -hmm. And thou mayest not eat the life mm -hmm. with the flesh. Mm -hmm. yes. Thou shalt not eat it. Mm -hmm. yes. Thou shalt pour, pour it, it upon the earth mm -hmm. as water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> thou shalt not eat it, it that it may, may go, go well, well with, with thee and with thy children, children after thee. thee. Yes. When thou shalt do that which is right yes. in the sight yes. of the Lord. Lord. Mm. So what happens when I slaughter my beasts, I want to eat their meat. Mm -hmm. God says, pour the, the blood, blood into, into the, the earth. Like water. Like water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Kana waka change era ukaura ya uku. Isaropa re uku muvu. Yeah. Uchengete. Mm -hmm. Uchengete upenyo wako. Yes. Doku uraya. And itombo dako zinzwa. Mm -hmm. Kutivanu waba taropa waka rijiga. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. Now, the word eat mm -hmm. in Leviticus 17 verse 10 mm -hmm. and Deuteronomy 12 23 mm -hmm. uh, you shall not eat in verse 24 mm -hmm. you shall not eat it. it. You shall not eat blood. Mm -hmm. The word eat, I like it. Mm -hmm. The word eat, eat. It means consume. Mm -hmm. The word eat, it means use. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. The word eat, it means transact. Mm -hmm. The word eat, it means uh, spend. Spend it. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. That's what the word eat means. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. Genesis chapter 9. Mm -hmm. Genesis chapter 9. I'm still following the message, blood is sacred. Mm. Yes. Genesis chapter 9, verse 4, what does it say? It says, but flesh... Start for this one. And God blessed Noah and his sons. God and, blessed Noah and his sons. And said unto them, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. And fear, the fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth and upon every fowl of the air and upon everything that... All that moves upon the earth and upon all the fishes of the sea, into your hand are they delivered. Yes. 20, verse number three. Every moving thing that lives shall be made for you. Every animal that is on the earth shall be made for you. Yes. Yes. Even as the green herb have I given you all things. Look at me, believers. If you go into Leviticus chapter... 11, and Deuteronomy chapter 14, Israel, through the law of Moses, mm. was given a list of animals that God described as unclean. Yes. Mm -hmm. The cormorant is unclean. The pelican is unclean. Mm -hmm. The fish eagle is unclean. Mm -hmm. The rabbits are unclean. Yes. Mm -hmm. the, pig is unclean. the pig is unclean. Mm -hmm. You shall not eat these ones, mm -hmm. but you can eat those that shoot the cud, yes. mm -hmm. which are also having their hooves divided. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
But when Paul comes in, when Paul comes in, when Paul comes in, yes. in 1 Timothy chapter 4, mm -hmm. he then says something that is so uh, opposed to what Moses had instructed. Yes. 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 1. Now the Spirit speaks expressly. The Spirit speaks expressly. That in the latter times, yes. some shall depart from the faith, giving, giving heed to seducing spirits. And doctrines of what? Of devils. What are these people preaching? Speak, what are the doctrines of devils? Speaking lies in hypocrisy. Yes. Having their conscience seared with a hot Tell iron. Tell us an example of a doctrine of devils. Forbidding to marry. When you see a church that forbids you to get married, <laughs> yes. it's a doctrine of devils. What and, else? And commanding to abstain from meats. And when uh, you go to a church that forbids you from eating pork, yes. it's a doctrine of devils. devils. Which Notwithstanding no. that these animals were forbidden yes. in Leviticus 11 and Deuteronomy 14. Yes, by mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. By God. Yes. <laughs> What? <laughs> which God had, has created to be received with thanksgiving mm. of them which believe uh -huh. and know the truth. Verse 4. For every creature of God is good. Pork it, is good. Mm -hmm. Catfish is good. Yes. Eating rabbits is good. Yes. Every creature yes. of God is good. <laughs> yes. Yes. And nothing to be refused. There is not even one animal you should say, I don't want to eat. It will make me unclean. If it be received with thanksgiving. So we were wondering, why does Paul preach against Moses? Mm -hmm. Moses said there are animals yes. that are not good. Yes. Paul says every creature of God is good. Mm -hmm. Last time I told you, there's a difference between the law of Moses and the law of God. God yes. Yes. Let us read again Genesis chapter 9 verse 3. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to submit it to you now <laughs> that this is the scripture from where Paul was preaching oh, yes. in First Timothy chapter 4, verse 4, uh -huh. when he said every creature <laughs> that God created is yes, good. Yes. This is the original law of God, oh, yes. which he gave to Noah, <laughs> the righteous man of God. <laughs> Amen. Every Amen. moving thing that, that lives is. shall be meat for you. Give mm -hmm. us the NASB. I want the word meat. To be replaced with the word food, that's what it actually means. Yes. Every moving thing that is alive shall be food for you. Yes. I give all to you. I give all to you. As I gave the green plant. As I gave the green plant. Just like you are eating potatoes. <laughs> Just like you are eating lettuce. You can as well eat pork and rabbit meat and catfish. Uh, there is no hell for you, madam. <laughs> Calm down. This is the original law of God. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. It was the hardness of heart yes. that Moses observed mm. yes. that he then wrote a list of forbidden and clean meats. Yes. But from the beginning, yes. it was oh, not like so. that. <laughs> Amen. So Genesis Amen. chapter 9 verse 3 yes. is the original <laughs> law of God yes. concerning meat. Yes. yes. But of yes. course, when you read Leviticus 11, yes. that was a specific <laughs> law to Israel. Yes. Why are Hallelujah. you fretting? Are you an Israelite? Hey. <laughs> we yes. are a children yes. of God. Amen. And as a Amen. children of the Savior, the Bible says God blessed Noah, Noah. and his sons. Yes. Just like God blessed Christ and oh, his yes. sons. If Amen. you are a son of Christ, Amen. every creature that is alive yes. is Hallelujah. food for you. For you. Hallelujah. Meat commends us not to, to God. God. Amen. Neither if we eat are we the, the better, better, nor if we don't eat are we the, the worse. Worse. Let's leave it. <laughs> Are you enjoying this, Pastor? Oh, yes, yes, I'm. Who knows the one who be Who knows one who be budget? Yes. Maraga chase you know vamba kana ukabata nzunza tsenga ukabata shato ukagona kuijiga beds. Shabu tungo tawara kuti moywa kwa umire. Nikuta usofunu kireganda kana usinga funu ke tsenga kana rawa mbira ukabata ijiga. Iyo vesi papa. <laughs> so can you tell me that Moses was more righteous than Noah? No. 
no. <laughs> Moses died no. because of unbelief. <laughs> <laughs> no one was saved yes. because of obedience. Yes. Who, who is better? Who is closer to God <laughs> that we know and Moses? Uh, no, he is. <laughs> Verse 4. <laughs> but flesh with the life thereof, which is the blood thereof, shall you not eat? Yes. Mm -hmm. And surely your blood of your lives will I require. At the hand of every beast will I require it. And at the hand of man, at the, at the hand of every man's brother, will I require the life of a man. Whosoever sh whoso sheds man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed. For in the image of God made he man. Did you hear that? <laughs> this is how sacred <laughs> blood <laughs> is. <laughs> Anyone who kills another man, mm -hmm. he must die himself. Yes. And there's a colony. Mm -hmm. yes. Why should we kill every murderer mm -hmm. in our countries? Mm -hmm. Well, because in the image, image of God, God made God men. God made men in his image. Mm -hmm. And this is the reason why blood is sacred. Do you understand? Yes. I don't think yes. you do. Let me conclude this message and show you what exactly Genesis chapter 9 verse 6 means. That's where we were coming, brethren, from all this journey. Leviticus 7, Leviticus 10, <laughs> Deuteronomy 12. We are now in Genesis chapter 9 verse 6. Mm. Because when you look at Deuteronomy and Leviticus, these are contexts where God continues to uphold mm -hmm. the same sacred position towards blood. Mm -hmm. But the origin of these positions are in Genesis chapter 4, where Cain killed Abel. Mm -hmm. And in Genesis chapter 9, mm -hmm. when God sets a new world order, mm -hmm. Noah coming out of the ark after mm -hmm. the flood, mm -hmm. a new world is starting. Mm -hmm. It's like the new Jerusalem that John saw in Revelation 21. Yeah. I don't want funny things in this new world order, Mr. Noah. Mm -hmm. Let me give you guidelines. Mm -hmm. Eat every mm -hmm. animal, mm -hmm. excluding their blood. Mm -hmm. As far as man is concerned, mm -hmm. no man is allowed to shed the blood of another man. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the life of a man mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. in his blood. Mm. I made men in my image. Mm. I don't want any man to shed blood. Mm. But what does that mean? Mm -hmm. If you made men in your image, why then should we not shed blood? What's mm. the connection? Mm. The connection is the men that God made in his image, mm -hmm. when God spoke to Noah at that time, mm -hmm. was still dead. Yes, yes. And so God is saying, if blood comes out of this body, mm -hmm. the chance to resurrect the spirit is gone. Mm. <laughs> Are you getting this? Yes. 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 Remember we yes. said yes. the spirit is dead. Yes. God is only left with a body, mm -hmm. which is flesh and blood. Yes. Mm -hmm. The flesh profits nothing. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's John chapter 6 now, yes. verse 63. The flesh profits nothing. nothing. Yes. It is the spirit that quickens. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Yes. You understand? Yes. So the human spirit was dead as early as Genesis chapter 3. Mm -hmm. And, and, and throughout the history of mankind, mm. God is still monitoring the plan of redemption. Yes. My son is going to redeem the spirit mm. that died in Adam. Mm. Mm -hmm. But my son is going to use what? What is left on earth mm -hmm. that Jesus can use? Mm. This is why Hebrews 10 verse 5 says, A body, yes, yes thou, thou prepared me. me. Yes. This is what the earth only has. Yes. The earth has no spirit. All spirits are dead. Yes. The earth only has a, a body. body. And inside the body mm -hmm. is the blood. The blood. Mm -hmm. I will use blood to redeem the human spirit, yes. which I made in my image. Yes. Mm -hmm. So God is protecting the corpse the human spirit. Yes. Let it yes. be. It's yes. dead. Yes. But let it be. Yes. 
Yes. Don't do anything to the blood in the body mm -hmm. because I'm going to use this blood mm -hmm. to redeem the image, the spirit the I spirit. made yeah. in my image. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yes. Are you getting yes. this? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So God says, well, Noah, this is actually a law. Anyone who sheds blood of another man mm -hmm. must die. die. Mm -hmm. Blood is sacred, sacred. Mm -hmm. because there is no altar that can be erected without, without blood. Blood. Bra blood is the principal instrument on the altar. Amen. It is the principal instrument of the altar. Mm. Why is blood sacred, man of God? It is the principal instrument of, of the, the altar. altar. Yes. Don't mess up with the blood. Don't mess up with blood. Are you following? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So blood is that sacred that even the blood of chicken, you can't eat it, I'll kill you. Mm -hmm. It is going to atone for the soul. Yes. Pour the blood on the ground. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So... What exactly does Genesis chapter 9 verse 6 mean? What does it mean? Don't shed any man's blood, mm -hmm. for in the image of God made he man. Mm -hmm. All right. The human spirit is dead. Mm -hmm. The human body is useless, yes. except for the blood mm -hmm. inside the body. Yes. Now, when people are doing priestly duties, mm -hmm. they present blood to God yes. on the altar. Mm -hmm. Yes. They present blood to God on the, on the altar. Yes. Because there is now a debt owed to God. Mm -hmm. So any shedding of blood mm -hmm. should only be done to God. Hey. So by eating blood, mm -hmm. they are claiming mm -hmm. to be God. Aye, 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 because aye. it is only God who must consume blood. Are you realizing that yeah. oh, yes. the effects of shedding blood, blood. or eating blood, mm -hmm. you are claiming to be God? Mungarindia akati mwea wafa. Yes. Chindi wudzai kutindi shadi kununura mwea wakafa. Chukanzi na mwari. Ndicha tora ropa. Dora ndicha tsina. Nisa rufurwe uyo wakafa. Ndomu muta kwa wakafa. Ndipe iropa. Ndimu tse wakafa. Give me blood. And I will give life again to the dead human spirit. Bring me blood to atone for the dead. Bring me blood to pay for the sins of the dead. Mm. Hey. Each time a man of Israel slaughtered a cow, yes. he needed to remember that this blood, only God can eat it. Yes. Because atonement requires he that sits on the throne Amen. for atonement Amen. to be perfected, yes. to take place. Yes. Mm. Yes. So if you eat the blood, you are claiming to be God. Mm. This is why God says, anyone who eats blood, he's claiming to be me. I will kill him. him. Yes. This is why I said uh, it's all about, the word eat, it's all about consuming, mm -hmm. transacting, mm -hmm. utilizing. Yes. That's what a, a eating blood means. Yes, using blood. Using it mm -hmm. for something that is more useful. Mm -hmm. Yes. So let's say Pastor Erengui insults Pastor Chuma. Mm -hmm. Pastor Chuma gets angry. Yes. Pastor Chuma chokes Pastor Erengui to death. Mm -hmm. Pastor Chuma has consumed Pastor Erengui. <laughs> That's what it means. Oh, yeah. Pastor Chuma <laughs> it, has eaten it, the blood of oh, Pastor Erengui. Mm -hmm. yeah. In other words, Pastor Chuma he has accepted the authority of, of God. God. Oh. And this is why God says, any man who kills another person, mm -hmm. he must die the same death. Yes. Mm -hmm. And by so doing, God says, the blood of this one 
He has mm-hmm. come to the same level as the blood of this one. Mm-hmm. You are now at the same level. Mm-hmm. Yes. And nobody is above the other person. Mm-hmm. This is why blood is sacred. Mm-hmm. But I want to say two things before we go. Coming to Genesis chapter 4, we are going to realize that God spoke to Cain mm-hmm. about the blood of Abel. Yes. Verse 9. And the Lord said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? And he said, and he said After Cain murdered Abel, mm-hmm. God asked Cain, Where is Abel your brother? I know not. And, 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 and Cain said, I don't know. Am I my brother's keeper? Yes. And he said, what has thou done? What have you done, Cain, by killing Abel, your brother? The voice of thy brother's blood cries unto me from the ground. Aha. Hey, Aha. the blood has a voice. <laughs> blood is so sacred, sacred. Yes. Yes. that it has a voice. Yes, mm. yes, yes, yes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Hebrews 9, verse 12, yes. it says, Neither by the blood of goats and cows, but by his own blood. Yes, yes. he entered. It means his own blood. His own blood. Mm. He the entered bl- in once into the holy place is to this obtain the blood? eternal redemption for us. Yes, this is the blood. Is this? Could this be the blood in Genesis 9, verse 6? Was it in the image? Because he says, Whoso sheds men's blood by men, shall his blood be shed. For in the image of God made he men. Yes. yes. And it is this blood that is said you should not shed. You should not shed. Yes. So, yes. So you see now, mm-hmm. um, you have done the right thing by citing Hebrews chapter 9. Yes. Yeah. Christ must redeem us yes. with his own blood. blood. Okay. Which according to verse 24 yes. of yes. Hebrews chapter, chapter 12, 12. Yes. the blood of Christ, it speaks better the things, things. Yes. than the blood, blood of, of Abel. Abel. Yes. So there is another problem mm-hmm. with the shedding of blood. Mm-hmm. Every time, listen to me and look at me carefully. Mm-hmm. Every time Mm-hmm. You kill another person. Yes. You are offering that blood mm-hmm. to God. Mm-hmm. Hey. Because <laughs> shedding of blood yes. is an altar activity. Yes. Yes. So by killing Pastor Irengui, mm-hmm. Pastor Chuma has assumed the priestly duty. Mm-hmm. He's now high priest. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. There are two questions that Pastor Chuma must answer. Mm-hmm before he completes his priestly duties. <laughs> Which order uh-huh. is his priesthood coming <laughs> from? <laughs> According to the scripture, there are only two, two orders. orders. Yes. The order of Aaron yes. and the order of Melchizedek. <laughs> yes, yes. So when we see Mr. Mnangagwa killing people, mm-hmm. he has become a self-appointed <laughs> priest. <laughs> is it allowed? <laughs> To appoint yourself as a high priest? No. no. The answer is Hebrews chapter 5, yes. verse 1. Yes. For every high priest, taken, every high priest taken from among men is taken from among men. Is ordained for men in uh, things pertaining to God. To do what? That he may offer both gifts and sacrifices <laughs> for sins. So, my. Has Mr. Mnangagwa been taken <laughs> from among men? Mm. Was he ordained <laughs> for men by God <laughs> yes. in things pertaining, pertaining to, to God? God. So a priest must be ordained yes. mm-hmm. and he must belong to a specific order. Yes. And there are only two priesthood orders mm-hmm. in the Bible. Yes. yes. So when you made a human being, mm-hmm. you have appointed you yourself, yourself a high priest, <laughs> offering human blood. Hey. The I'm question is, blood. are you ordained? Mm. Huh? Mm. But when we look at scriptures again, yes. Mm-hmm. Every sacrifice that is offered yes. must be without blemish. Blemish, yes. So yes. if you made yes. Pastor yes. Irengui, yes. is she a perfect <laughs> sacrifice? <laughs> Holy, without <laughs> blemish? <laughs> because if you offer a blameable sacrifice, 
it is it's rejected. a contempt towards God. <laughs> yes. It's an abomination. Yes. Yes. God will kill both mm -hmm. the congregation that you are representing yes. and the high priest who is doing the representation. Yes. So you violated the two principles. Mm -hmm. You are not an ordained priest. Mm -hmm. yeah. You are offering an underqualified yeah. sacrifice. Yes. Gift. Mm -hmm. But you are also violating another principle. Mm -hmm. The person who have killed is a spirit that is not yet redeemed. Mm. You have stolen an opportunity, opportunity. of salvation oh, yes, from, from, that that person. from that person. Yes, mm. yes. And this is why God said, never shed, shed blood. blood. Yes. Because you God kill a person the before they are saved. Mm. Mm. There is no chance of salvation yes. outside your body. Oh. Your body is the place of redemption. redemption. Once Amen. you come out of yes. the body, there's no more chance to redemption. No. Yes. No. This is terrible. Ah. This is yes. deep. And so, murder is a not a sin. Mm -hmm. I will repeat myself, murder is not a sin. Murder is an abomination. Mm -hmm. And because of everything I've shared with you tonight, mm. this is why murder is an abomination. Mm. Where did you kill this person? In the bush. Mm. Was there an altar? Mm. Because you must remember that human blood needs an yes. altar oh, yes. to be shed. Mm. Yes. 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 And so... Every time people murder someone, for us to cleanse our society of the case, because in abomination when it is committed, God pronounces a case. Mm -hmm. And one of the consequences of murder mm -hmm. is that the society where the person was murdered mm -hmm. will, be, will be cased by God. Mm -hmm. It's not only the murderer mm -hmm. who receives a case, the whole society is cursed, cursed by God. Mm -hmm. And remember, there's a scripture in the law where if a man is found dead and nobody knows who murdered him, everyone in that city needed to send their elders to wash their hands over the ashes of an heifer and say, we don't know who murdered this person. Mm -hmm. Our hands are clean. Mm -hmm. And immediately, the murderer would be struck with leprosy <laughs> and he would confess and die. Mm -hmm. What happens is that if a man murders another man and the murderer continues to live, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the life of the murderer mm -hmm. is the community's defiance right. of the laws All right. of God. All right. All right. The community All right. is saying to God, you can't do anything to us. Mm -hmm. And this is why there is a case that then hounds the whole community. Mm. But if Pastor Chuma murders someone, mm -hmm. what happens spiritually mm -hmm. is that because blood is sacred, mm -hmm. because blood is sacred, even though the murdered person was not a believer, mm -hmm. that is the only time mm -hmm. that person can say a prayer that God can hear. Hey, mm -hmm. hey, hey, hey. Mm -hmm. Amen. The blood of a murdered person mm -hmm. continues to speak, speak to God, yes. to God. even after the death of that person. Mm -hmm. And so what happens is the spirit of the murdered person yes. complains to God that a principle has been violated. Mm -hmm. yes. And then there is a mark that God puts upon the soul of the murderer. Mm -hmm. This is what happens to Cain. Remember, blood is sacred. Mm -hmm. That is the message. Mm -hmm. So Cain speaks to God yes. and said in verse 13, my uh, punishment is greater mm -hmm. than I, I can, can bear. bear. Mm -hmm. Behold, you have driven me out this day mm -hmm. from the face of the earth, and from thy face shall I be hid, mm -hmm. and I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond mm -hmm. in the earth, and it shall come to pass that everyone that finds me shall kill me. Mm. So when, the, when, when Cain said everyone, he was not referring to mankind. Mm -hmm. Cain was referring to the kingdom of darkness. Mm. 
Okay. Because once you shed blood, mm -hmm. a door is opened against you okay. mm -hmm. that the kingdom of the demonic world mm -hmm. may have access to you. Yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah, 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 you yeah. become a haunted soul. Mm -hmm. the, the Lord will write a wanted poster in the spiritual realm. Wanted, wanted, wanted. You are now a wanted person mm -hmm. in the kingdom of the yeah. spirit. Mm -hmm. The devil sees your picture on those posters mm -hmm. in the spiritual realm. That's why when you murder someone, you realize that your heart becomes unsettled. Mm -hmm. You become anxious. Yeah. Even when you sleep, there's darkness that overshadows your mind, mm -hmm. your conscious, your subconscious. Mm -hmm. Even while you are asleep, mm -hmm. your soul becomes a tagged soul. I'm mm -hmm. exploring a spiritual issue here. Something that I know because the Lord has taught me these things. Mm -hmm. And those who have killed the people can say amen to what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. You shed blood. This is why when you close your eyes, there's a blanket of darkness that covers your eyes. Yes. And you wonder, where is this darkness coming from? Mm -hmm. You now have a tagged spirit. Mm -hmm. Your spirit becomes tagged yes. by the Lord. Right. The spirit of the person that you murdered, there is something that God takes from that spirit and places upon your spirit. Mm. Because remember, on the day of the Lord, when judgment is done, mm. these murders shall also be revealed. Amen. Yes. You are going to answer for every soul that you killed. Mm. So wherever you go, there is something saying to the spirit realm, this person is cursed, he is a darkened soul. Mm. The moment you kill someone, your soul becomes darkened. It darkens your soul. And this is what Cain said. Cain said, and, and, and from thy face mm -hmm. shall I be hid. This is verse 14a of Genesis chapter 4. Mm -hmm. From thy face... Mm -hmm. Shall I be, Shall I be hid? Yes. God does not hide his face from Cain. Mm -hmm. Cain, Cain is hidden from, from the face of God. Yes. You are darkened yes. so that light may not shed itself to bring you some form of enlightenment. Mm -hmm. There's darkness reigning in your life mm -hmm. because blood is it's sacred. Great. If you kill someone, and you go to a genuine sorcerer, because they are fake sorcerers, mm -hmm. to a genuine diviner, mm -hmm. because they are fake diviners. Mm -hmm. If you say to a traditional a sangoma, a sekuru, can you help me? If he is a genuine sangoma, mm -hmm. he will look into the dark world mm -hmm. and he will see another spirit mm -hmm. riding upon your spirit. Oh, yes. And he says, I don't see one spirit. Mm -hmm. You carry another person's spirit. <laughs> What did you do? <laughs> and this is why the devil sends a demonic world. Mm -hmm. And then they start to ask you to pay the avenging spirits. Mm -hmm. Avenging spirits are demons punishing you for a murder that you have committed. That has nothing to do with God. You can pay God as many times as you want. But that does not solve the problem. Committing murder is committing an abomination against God. God. Mm -hmm. When people pay in God, they don't pay they God. Don't. They pay relatives <laughs> of the dead person. Again, the tower is shown. Kuripa ngozi, akusi kuripa mngari, kuripa amadze mufi. Ubenzi wa kuripa ngozi, kuripa na patera unzwe. Ngati ti jai konzeresa ngozi kura ya mombe. Right. Mombe ya urai wa ni munu. Mm. Munu aura ya mombe arikunzi anufano wakuri pa ngozi. Mm -hmm. Anufano wakuri pa ani. Zimwe mombele kana murizwe mombe. Murizwe mombe? Murizwe mombe ndia arasi kiriwa. Mm -hmm. Ne mombe yake. Yes. Mm -hmm. Izi zingwe mombe, zino gona kurasi kiri wane shamu ngarika na ama. Yeah. Asa zisiri zio zine kadire mombe ya kafa. Mm -hmm. Pakadi pa pakanyuru wa zitare munu, hapana yeah. kunyuru wa zitare ime mombe. Uh -uh. 
saka muridzi wakwe wewe ndi mwari kwete hama dzako zvekuti mm. ukafai wewe mm. aifanyirwa kuri pika ndi mwari yes mm. but satan mure wene mama yes those are no it is a very very crude man yes he wants to punish you to a pulp yeah he says let me mislead them yeah to pay the relatives of the deceased and tell them they have finished the damages so if we have a situation where you kill somebody's husband you may bring some damages to the family of the deceased mm -hmm. but that is a token of an apology yeah. it's not a payment of the debt Amen. the debt of life my dear is more expensive than a number of cattle mm -hmm. or sending a woman there to give birth to another son. Life is life for life. If you want to know how to pay the damages of killing somebody, mm -hmm. just read Genesis chapter 9, verse 6. Mm -hmm. God was clear. Oh, yes. yes. If you kill yes. someone, mm -hmm. the payment is your own death. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. What yes. happens to murder? What happens to pay? How do we pay the debt of murder? <laughs> Also sheds men's blood. An Uraya moon and Deura Ropare moon. By men shall his blood be shed. People must kill him. For in the image of God made he blood men. for blood. A Uri Peru for a moon in a mombe. A Uri Peru for a moon in a manam sicana no no zara. Blood for blood. That is God's ruling mm. concerning murder. Mm -hmm. Because blood is sacred. Yes. Mm. But of course, our societies will never do this. They don't even know how to implement <laughs> this law. Mm -hmm. What we have now is we have a cursed community. Yes, mm -hmm. we, do. we have murderers walking scotch free mm -hmm. amongst us. Mm -hmm. And when you have a, child, a family and children and you murdered someone, if you don't seek help from the true church, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the case you have of the men you murdered is also coming to your children. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. And their children. Mm. And their children. Mm. Mm. And the case continues mm. until the coming of Christ. Mm -hmm. This is because blood is sacred. Mm. May God help you, my believer, to learn more of the word of God. Amen. These are the true teachings of God. Yes. Mm. He that is is, let him hear what the Spirit says mm -hmm. to the churches. Mm -hmm. Amen. If you murder someone, something concerning the soul that you, you took, its life, is in your spirit right now connected to you. Wherever you go, even demons can see he killed someone. You don't see it yourself. The police may not see it. Mm -hmm. The relatives of the person you killed may not see it. Mm -hmm. yes. But your life is burdened. Mm -hmm. Even when you try to be happy, in the midst of your joy, there's always something reminding you, what are you doing about that blood that you shed six yes. years ago? Mm -hmm. yeah. You will never rest. Mm -hmm. It's a principle of God. Mm -hmm. So what should I do, men of God? Wow, wow, wow. If I were to be honest with you, I have listened and I've attended to that kind of a situation. Mm -hmm. Sometimes politicians come to me and say, I listened to your message and I realized that there are people who died and I was there. I participated in their murder. Mm -hmm. Even though I never beat them, but when these orders were given, I was okay. there. Okay. What can I do? Can you help? I want to warn everyone mm. who is going to claim to be a man of God mm -hmm. that if you want God to curse you quicker, meddle into the matters to do with blood, mm. even as a man of God. Unotori mumwe munu asina simba ne upenyu wake. Mm. Nyae zinde zangu. Ini ndini architect ya upenyu. Yes. Don't meddle into the Godhead 
Only the Godhead has power over life. Mm. Not even your so-called major, major, major prophets mm. can handle this matter outside divine intervention. Mm. There is no straightforward solution to what we can do now if we meet a person who says, I killed someone, mm -hmm. you help me, man of God. There is no straightforward answer. What I can tell you as far as these principles are concerned is that, number one, God must give an instruction mm -hmm. concerning, number one, is he willing mm -hmm. to forgive you of this matter? Mm -hmm. There are people to whom God shall say, I'm not willing to forgive you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your family will pay for as long as I want them to pay. Mm -hmm. And the man of God must excuse himself and say, I can't help. This matter is beyond me. This is why when David asked God, what should I do to pay the Gibeonites? Mm -hmm. Because he so killed Amen. their people. Yes. Yes. God yes. said, go and ask the Gibeonites. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And the Gibeonites said, we don't want money. Mm -mm. We want death yes. to happen. Yes. And David did not go back to God and say, Talk to the Gibeonites. <laughs> Let them be lenient to me now. No. Look, I was not there yes. when so when so killed the Gibeonites. Mm -hmm. they, God said, principles are not violated. Mm -hmm. I love you so much, David. Mm -hmm. But this time, I have to tell you, mm -hmm. I can't help you. Hey. Just to follow the principle. Mm -hmm. We knew David, David used to kneel down, wear his sake cloth, pray and fast, asking God for forgiveness. This time, he had to kill the children of Saul mm. to pay the debt. Yeah. Hey. Is it not chapter 21? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's chapter 21 yes. of 2nd Samuel. Samuel. Uh, David then had to kill mm -hmm. seven people, people. Mm -hmm. of the sons of Saul yes. to pay the debt yes. Yes. concerning blood mm -hmm. that was shed. Yes. So this is the first in indication. Is God willing to forgive? Mm -hmm. <laughs> if God is not willing, the man of God must not lie to you that he can do something about it. Let him lie to you and see what happens to him. I not You are not a deputy God mm. who gave you the power to judge over matters to do with life. Only God mm -hmm. can give an instruction. Mm -hmm. Number two, if God says he wants to take this case away. Mm -hmm. right. He will give a prescribed method. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is why I said to take away the case upon our country, Zimbabwe, mm -hmm. then God will have to give us an instruction. Yes. How can we cleanse the nation of Zimbabwe? Mm -hmm. Because so much blood has been shed. Mm -hmm. We live in a cursed nation. Mm -hmm. It needs a cleansing. Mm -hmm. Yes. And if you go to Sangomas, they will tell you that you need cleansing. But the method of cleansing they will lead you into <laughs> is smearing more mud yes. upon already existing debt. Mm -hmm. The Sangomas will tell you this nation will need cleansing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they will tell you. Oh, yeah. Even Sangomas know mm -hmm. that if you shed the blood, yes. the land will be darkened. Oh, yes. the, the land will be defiled. Mm -hmm. The land will be spoiled. Mm -hmm. It will need a cleansing ceremony, a cleansing process, which only God can prescribe. Yes. Any man of God who tells you today that he can open a scripture and tell you where it is written, how to cleanse a nation or mm -hmm. a family from defilement of human blood, you'll be lying mm -hmm. to you. Yes. That's why in 2 Samuel 21, yes. there was no scripture that David could have used. Mm -hmm. He had to go to God, mm -hmm. yes. and mm -hmm. God referred him to the Gibeonites. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So sometimes God will say, go and speak to the relatives mm -hmm. and do what they say, mm -hmm. and, and, and I will guide you on what to do next. Yes. Right. Or God will say, these are the things I want you to do. Mm -hmm. Because remember, the problem with the case is 
There is no man of God who can lift a case. No. The man of God can pray to God mm -hmm. for God to lift, to lift a case. case. Yes. Yes. So if the man of God does what he thinks is right, mm -hmm. what if it doesn't lead into the lifting of the case? Mm -hmm. hey. mm -hmm. So I want to speak to those who have blood in their hands. Right. You are being cruel to your families mm -hmm. if you die without cleansing yourselves mm -hmm. from this blood. Mneropa maoko vaskana ne makomana. Kana muka ende samari ku zimbadze mapofu zvakadi. Kunyange muka tenga makofi ni kuama zenyu zinenge zichifa. Because when you have, you have a dark end so you will try to do some good things to feel better. Yeah. But those things will not lift the case mm. from yourself. Mm. There is a prescribed method to lift a case. Mm. Let's finish the book of Genesis 4 and go. We want to find out. I said to you, when you kill someone, there is a mark that is put upon your spirit. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wherever you go, even thieves who know mm -hmm. this one is marked, <laughs> let us rob him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We don't go as always. She na kumi esogda. Ne nunzi. Uno no di papa ne gipai ne nunzi. Tino marai we ku dari kwa muweze. Panwa goshi ya kutna yu. Wazi itire. Ota ndi na ndukuto shi wa kutichi. The whole earth is designed to detect a cursed person. Even the rats will tell this one is cursed by God. There is no peace for the wicked. Aye aye aye. So Cain said to God, look, this is not right. Mm. What you have done is you have cursed me, mm -hmm. and now you hid me from, the, from your face. Mm -hmm. I shall be a vagabond and a fugitive. Mm -hmm. The problem is every demon that will find me mm -hmm. who wanted to kill me. Mm -hmm. What does God do in verse 15? And the Lord said unto him, Therefore, whosoever slays Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. Yes. Yes. And the Lord set a mark upon Cain. Again. And the Lord set a mark upon Cain. Again. And the Lord set a mark upon Cain. Dear Munogu Tanga, good time when you're up and you can't. I got Tim and I'm Mari. The first man to carry a tattoo uh, is Cain. God placed a tattoo uh, on Cain. Mm -hmm. But it was not upon his flesh. Mm -hmm. It was on, on his upon spirit. Hey. Mm -hmm. Upon his spirit. spirit. Yes. Because demons are able to detect mm -hmm. what is there in your spirit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Mark Kama chile gaswa ukumura, asani kwa chungu rombe kwa ari rombe, ari kwa chungu mbere re kwa ari rombe. Saka kana wini maki pauri, chungu juu juu ni tika naturali pana vango wan, aji tike. Urugona sana duta. Uno gona kuta vana eight vaska na ushita gamu koma na jiramba. Mara nungo ta au ya afanu ta manam koma no. Pesra wa auto not ragui tonge danga manja wasi siri mshaka na na wado kwa hizo chile gani re gere ara chita ndi skuda kutu urare me upenyo uri normal iwa kwa uraya muno the idea of this case of a murderer is that a murderer should not lead a normal peaceful life God wants you to be traumatized to be terrorized the rest of your life. You shed blood. The thing that you did is only reserved for God. Yes. 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 So it is cruel for those who have blood in their hands to die without seeking cleansing, mm. at least to protect their children mm. and their children's children. Mm. Mm. Right now, there is a person with a Down syndrome in your family. Mm -hmm. and he is not your child, he is the child of your other brother. Mm -hmm. You don't know that the murder that you did is the reason why this one has a, a child mm -hmm. 
with this kind of a medical challenge. Mm -hmm. You are bringing a disaster to the whole family. My final words to you are, are that the blood for blood issue mm. raised in Genesis chapter 9, verse 6, mm. it also means that this case follows your blood. Anyone who carries the same blood as you mm. is a subject to this case. Mm. Even your uncle who relocated to Australia 50 years ago, as long as he has the same blood with you, mm. the case will follow him. Only those who are now in Christ, because they no longer have that blood, mm -hmm. they have a better blood, remember? Yes. Based on 1 24 from Hebrews 12, mm. they have better blood that speaks of better things mm. than the blood that of Abel. Evil. So only those who are then saved can then be avoided by this case. Pastor Chumava Katuraya Munizezi, Mwana umkomo hawa no gara ku, ku, ku Canada. Asata ambo waona asinga waziwe. Kesi no mbata. Oh yeah. Because oh, it's yes. a blood for blood case. Oh, yes. It follows blood. Yes. 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 Go to church and say the blood of Jesus. <laughs> the blood. Uimba blood of Jesus. Uwana utishino shande. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't cover murder with the blood of Jesus. If you murder someone, you can't call the name of Jesus Christ. It's mm. actually another blasphemy. Mm. Because mm. if you have been washed by the blood of Jesus, why were you shedding the blood of this one? Mm. When you shed the blood of this one, mm. you were supplementing the blood of Jesus. Mm. You were saying the blood of Jesus is not enough. not enough. I want to add the blood of Stuart aye, aye, onto aye, aye. the blood of Jesus. Aye, 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 aye. So the principle cannot be avoided mm. because you say there's no more condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. Mm. Kill someone mm. and see if it works. Mm. Kill someone and see if it will work. Mm. The blood of Jesus will forgive you for the sins that you have committed. Mm. But you are going to be required to own up to your misdeeds. Mm -hmm. Because like I told you, this is not a sin. This is an abomination. Yes. Yes. Murder is not a sin. It's an abomination. It's an abomination. Mm. Mm. Those who are married to murderers, they can give us a better testimony if they wanted to be honest today. Mm -hmm. That there is a time when your murderer husband looks like a monster. Hey. Even when he doesn't want to be a monster. Hey. He wants to be lovely and romantic, but sometimes he looks like a, a Komodo dragon. Mm. There is a beast inside him because he is a tagged, spoiled, darkened, blackened soul. Mm. Mm. Hey. Say a chikisa chiso kudaiso. Ukaure ya munu, chiso chako chino tanga kuchikisa. Vanu vano pinta mnika emu ya waka kutari tzavaruti. Unezo waka itaiwe. <laughs> chiso chako chino rema yu. Niro para karawanda ra waka dairi ya waka deura. Fesi ya kwa ino takura. Mnika ya vanu waka uraya. Ine ngeri kufesi kwa koso. Shukuti vanu vanu ya vasi nga zivuti sayu chichikisa. Iwoka na osina ukwano nato funga watu no chikisa. Izo iri maragaku fuki zaruno sakavano vachke. There's too much darkness on your face. Mm. You are a cursed soul. Mm. So if you killed three people, there are three tags on your spirit. Mm. If you killed seven people, there are seven tags on your spirit. Yes. Sometimes people say you can go, they give you right of way. You think they are respecting you. They want darkness to go away from them. Everywhere you go, people give you special treatment. Because 
ikaenda paduze nemuna akaura yavanhu unorema so mm. sako chino tineva na vako chekutamba newa vakwanisa mm. hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> unorema vanhu hey. tauranewa vari kure uguso <laughs> mwana uyu sei achichika kudaro ah. you try to be friendly people can't be friend you anymore you are a darkened soul Mm. because blood is sacred mm. hey. are you hearing this mm. yes mm yes man mm 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 may god bless the preaching of his word i hope you are going to come out and seek help mm-hmm. why what does it profit you people like me are here to help you come on some of you if you listen to me you can actually cry some, some someone is crying right now nichitotaura kuda iso pane munhu ari kuchema izvi i am a man of god he is saying how can i get help mm-hmm. why would you want to carry this burden it's like there is 50 kilograms of weight in your heart everywhere you go some people after killing they resorted to getting drunk whenever the burden comes up you drink a lot of whiskey a lot of beer a lot of substances you smoke weed you are trying to block your mind from the trauma that your body is facing because you are a haunted soul we can help you if god gives us the permission i said it's a case by case matter that's how we can help you there's no blanket approach to the issue of blood come and we can help you we have helped so many people we are very very uh, responsible leaders of the church of god if we were not responsible you could have heard us sharing these details to everyone mm. i i cancel even people who are not members of our church mm. they come and they cancel them mm. i never speak out publicly mm. about my duties as a minister of the gospel mm. who has been given a duty by god to guide the spirits that are confused that are troubled that you may find liberty mm. our lord jesus spoke in Matthew chapter 11 verse 28 he said come unto me mm-hmm. o ye that are that labor and that uh, are weary mm-hmm. that are heavy laden and, and i will give you rest yes are you not weary mm-hmm. are you not laboring are you not heavy laden what does he say in verse 29 take my yoke upon you There is a better yoke for you to carry and learn of than me. to carry the soul of a person mm. who died 15 mm. years ago. Mm. You are carrying a tag of a person whom you killed 25 years ago, yes. 50 years ago. Yes, yes. Your soul is getting tired. Mm. Jesus says take my yoke learn from me. Mm-hmm. I am meek and lowly in heart mm. and you shall find the rest for your yes, souls. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. For your soul. Amen. Let me tell you as I sit here tonight I have never received even a dollar from people that came for help from me mm-hmm. because they committed abominations like killing someone. Mm-hmm. These are the things that I'm very afraid of. Mm-hmm. You can't pay me money mm-hmm. to cleanse your soul. for killing someone that i did not create mm-hmm. what would be the basis mm-hmm. for me receiving money mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. uh, <laughs> imagine yeah. chuma uh-huh. imagine kuti munhu akaura yamuri kuma rondira guys obva vaya kuna chiwenga obva zvina chiwenga buritsa mari topo ha mari ye ndine munhu akasikere the principle of retribution is you pay the person that you defrauded yes mm-hmm. If you made someone mm. you have stolen a soul from God yes if there's any money that needs to be paid that money must go, go to, to God, God. Chuenga can't take that money 
Why would they want to bring a case upon my own children? Mm. Mm. for? Mm. Why would they want to be the 21st century girls? <laughs> 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 it's not worth yes. it. <laughs> yeah. It's not worth Lift it. Lift your hand and I will pray. Thank you, Lord. Master, you are the architect, the designer, the author, and the sustainer of life. As your children, we humble ourselves before you and confess that our hands are filthy. Our kith and kin, our brothers and sisters, if blood stained hands, they have shed blood, and there is a case upon them, and as a society, we are complicit because we did not do what you required us to do. From Genesis chapter 9, verse 6, to hold each other accountable so that we may not temper with the sacred blood which you designed for the atonement of the soul. Forgive us, Lord, for our reckless acts. Forgive us, Lord, for our disobedience. Forgive us, Lord, for our impenitence. We repent and we confess that the innocent blood shed in Africa and other parts of the world, there are no demons to blame. It is us who are not being good keepers of our brothers. We have violated the holy law, and there's no peace in our world. There's no order, there's no joy. Families are breaking, and the people continue to degenerate into more chaos and more sinfulness. I've spoken your word with a pure conscience to the people whose heart we have raised to listen to me. Touch the hearts of those who have blood in their hands. We believe, Lord, that you have given us this message because you are willing to rescue them, yes. to fulfill the promise that you made in Matthew chapter 11, when you said, come to me, all that labor, and I have laden, yes. and I will give you rest. They need the rest of their souls. Some of them, they have nightmares. When they try to sleep, they can't find sleep. Some of them, they are never happy. They are taunted every time because of the darkened hearts. They shed innocent blood, which is sacred. It was not permissible. They've brought a case upon the entire family. Other daughters can't find husbands to marry them. And their sons can't finish school. They are giving their lives to drugs. Some that finished school can't get employment. Those that are married, they are being divorced every day. They can't raise families that are stable. They can't build homes for their children. They are cursed because one of their members shed innocent blood mm. and they swept this sin, this abomination under the carpet. But with you, Lord, nothing is hidden. We glorify your name for preaching to us such a very important message at such a time. We believe that those who shall come, you shall speak to your servants and to me, that we may guide them out of these cases. Because there's no other way out. Blood is sacred, and everybody that sheds blood shall have to answer to God now in this life and in the time to come, condemnation to the lake of fire. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Ministers, this is the message. Blood is sacred. Yes. It's important as children of God to know that blood is sacred. Amen. So that even as we worship God, yes. we know where to end. Yes. We don't become reckless when we come to issues to do with life. Oh, yes. Be careful with life. Be careful with life. Yes. What's your response or your attitude, Pastor Rengui, to this message, blood is sacred? Thank you, Amai. Uh, it is a deep message. Uh, and to me, yeah, <laughs> it's a message that I need to listen to again. But the understanding that I got now from this message, 
is how sacred the blood is, especially where we read Genesis chapter 9, where the Lord himself was saying, you should not shed anyone's blood for in the image of God made he man. This is why the Lord uh, had to emphasize this, and this is why the shedding of blood is not falling under the group of sins. It's an abomination. Yes, it's an abomination. It, it, that being an abomination, it, it's too scary for us to realize that uh, generally, maybe because of the gender background, we thought it's just as good as any other sin that one may commit. But now it has been brought to light to say this is an abomination. And whatever we are going to do, no one is able to pay for that loss of blood. Because who will you be paying to? No pani. No pani. Muridwe moon woga ura. Yes. Saka isusu pachi wan. Tangati zit kana kwaka ura ywa moon. Kunonzi muna no ripwa ngozi no ripwa. Asungozi pair kuripwa. Irkuripwa kuvan waka firwa nea mayaka uraiwa. Adam. Parugunza kafa pa Genesis chapter 3 verse 6. Tuzenda ku Genesis chapter 6 ku verse 3. Kurugunzi nashe and chakwani si kuramba lichiru sana ne moon. Nekuti moon anga haka tazwa ku Genesis 3 ku verse 6 kwe. Saka nda itu wa shaka naka amai kuti ndoku saka isheva zutaura ku Genesis 6 3. Nekuti uya anga ato fakari. Anga ato fakwa kwa saranyama. Akafira ku Genesis chapter. Ndopa do zopinda ropa. Ndopa zopinda ropa. Kutumare azo ona kutumwe ya wafa. Ehe. Dasaru wa nenyama bezi. Nenyama bezi. Shii chanika shandise. Yes. Chiri munyama. Chiri munyama. Kuri dima mngea. Yeah. Yeah. Ovat nda huda ushandisa ropa. Nda huda ushandisa ropa. Ochiti imi muri munyama imi. Ehe. Makafa karikari. Yes. Chire gaya kujika nyama. Chire gaya. Doe gaya. Mr. Chire gaya kujika ropa. Ropa. Doe gaya masara wanaro. Yes. Saka jesa chuya ova deura ro parake. Ro parake chairo maji. Chairo chairo. Hebrews 9 kwe. Ria rakangari singa vumizu kwa kujigari ya ria. Ehe. Rafa rapi wa mngari maji. Yes. Mngari ndia gano ori jigaro pa ilo. Ria note ndero. Ato pera avani vare giri wa shutazi. Ah, saka amai. Nadziza. It is indeed a great and a very deep message which we really need to understand brethren to know how the Lord did to redeem us, the transition from spirit and body to, to flesh, flesh and blood. blood. Flesh and yes. blood, yes. Yes. All right. Thank Pastor Shuma, ah. what is your reaction? Blood is sacred. Yes, 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 yes. Am I, um, I just want to thank God for the apostolic grace because uh, uh, Galatians chapter 5, verse 17 how it explained Genesis chapter uh, three, six, verse three. Six, six, verse three yes. I, I was amazed. Mm -hmm. I never saw that coming. I was really, really amazed. Because uh, in Galatians 5, 17, the devil is not even mentioned there. Yes. yes. It's, just, <laughs> it's, just, it's just the spirit and the flesh mm -hmm. that are, are striving with one with, other, with the other. Mm -hmm. And then uh, when it, 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 it comes to the... Uh, to the sanctity of the blood, the, that, that the blood is sacred, uh, God has looked inside of man and found only one substance in man that he can use for yes. the propitiation of sin. Yes. And this is, he says it's the blood. I liked it in verse, seven, in verse 11 of uh, Leviticus Leviticus uh, 10. Le Leviticus 17. 17, yes. Yes, and it says, I have given it to you upon the altar. It was given to us. Mm -hmm. When God designed the blood, he knew he was going to need yes. it. Yes. That's powerful. Mm -hmm. That is really, really that's, powerful. That's powerful, mm -hmm. Pastor. Thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> and uh, maybe before we go, I would like to say, believers, 
and Pastor Shuma may answer this, it looks like this message could really help a lot of people that are traumatized and carrying heavy burdens yes. because they killed someone. Yes. Would you think that a normal person after listening to this message would really want to come to seek help? Yes. So we, we have got an email address. Uh, I want our people to put it up. If you have shed blood, come and we will help you. That email address is confidential. Only us are going to receive your email. We will set up an appointment. We can help you virtually. We don't have to meet personally unless the Lord says it's important to meet personally. The Lord wants to give you rest. Amen. Amen. You Amen. may have met that someone during a time when your mind was not working well. Yes. Now your mind is working well. Mm -hmm. Maybe the Lord wants to forgive you. Mm -hmm. Maybe the Lord wants to give you another chance. Yes. Mm -hmm. Come and we will help you. And um, be willing to be honest. Tell us everything. There is no reason for you to come for help and you end up lying to us. This is the counseling uh, contacts. Counseling at grm.org.zw and that is the WhatsApp number. You can send a voice note on WhatsApp. You can send a typed message and you can send an email and we can schedule a meeting and we can help you. You are going to bring a calamity, a disaster mm. to your whole family. Yes. Yes. People are going to go through things that they can't explain. Mm. But it's because of you. You are quiet. You did it and you remained quiet. You are pretending like there's nothing wrong with you. But when you are alone, sometimes you bother yourself with these thoughts. Who can help me? What can I do? Going to a Sangoma we will not help you. A Sangoma is not a servant of God. These matters require a servant of God because the people that you killed or the person that you killed was a person created by God mm -hmm. and only God can help if he wants to do so. Come and we shall help you. Um, just a reminder, believers, those who want to come to South Africa and meet with us, we have got a very important program, the Revelation Gathering 1 of 2024. It's happening from the 3rd of May to the 5th of May. All people are traveling to South Africa. We are going to be in South Africa. We shall spend time together. It's like a conference where we shall live together, uh, register through the details. Our contact details are on the screen, register, so that you may be provided for with all the logistical and administrative information. They may take, talk to you also on whether you are going to be baptized, when, where are you going to live, what are the transport arrangements. Our administrators are there to help you. Don't hesitate to contact us. We are going to, to guide you. And those who say, I do not have time to go, but I have money. Find a brethren who wants to go, but who doesn't have the money. Do something good in your life to enrich the spirit of a brother. Mm. You can pay for transport and accommodation fees for another brother who wants to go. Yes. So that even though you are not there, but you do something that shows that you love the Lord. Mm. Even to those who are not going, please clear your schedule so that you don't go to work throughout the Revelation gathering. It's not a program to miss. On Friday... We have a special service where we shall do a prayer program. We are going to meet specifically to pray for the Revelation gathering. Our prayer program on Friday shall start at 5 o'clock and it shall end at 8 o'clock. Let us meet on Friday to do our prayer program together. We are going to pray for um, those who are going to attend the Revelation gathering. I'm looking for my calendar now. I can't find it. Uh, where is
is it? Calendar. There is an announcement that is connected to the calendar there, which I think, yes, I find it. So um, next week, next week, uh, Wednesday, it will be the 24th of April, and we are going to that uh, 24th of April, there is Sunday, 28th of April. We are not going to have a, a Sunday service on the 28th of April. There will be no service on Sunday, the 28th of April. People will be preparing to go to uh, South Africa for the Revelation gathering. I just thought I could share this with you. So that you don't you don't ask where where are they? We have no service today. What's wrong? Our program is starting on Friday the third. So we want those who are traveling to travel without worrying about losing uh, the service. But our last service is going to be the midweek service, which is going to happen on Wednesday, twenty four April. Mm -hmm. That will be our last service so that people may continue with their preparations. There is not much lost there. You, go, you are going to use time to revise sermons if you have enough time to do that. But you want those who are traveling not to feel like they are missing out on the service because they are in the aircraft flying from the USA to go to South Africa. Mm. Yes. Yes. Is there any announcement, Pastor, that I have forgotten? No, all the announcements have been said, am I? But I just want to thank God for what you have just said. To say, if you have the money but you can't go, you can also help a brethren. Uh, I always encourage ladies, wanna go, go. And we've got a go, go who has done so already. Ah, that's she beautiful. Paid for her brethren. That's yes. wonderful. Yes. That's wonderful. And those who are going to be paid for use that time wisely. Yes. At the Kunz got workers on go shitaba slag. Urium supermarket. You and what about the service? Yes. Somebody has committed his resources yes. to invest in your spiritual upliftment. Yes. Use that wisely mm -hmm. so that it would also demonstrate that you appreciate yes. the brotherly love yes. that has enabled you to attend something you could not afford. Mm -hmm. Do not forget to give offerings every time we come to the service. Yes. We always forget to say, let's give, mm -hmm. because we have much more important issues to do, but giving should be a habit mm -hmm. for a child of God. Yes. Goodbye, believers. Let's meet on, on Friday in our prayer program. Mm -hmm.